Welcome back everyone to the second game of the day. We got St. Clair College Academy taking on Humber College and let's look into the draft. Well, taking a look at the picks here on the side of St. Clair College, we're going to see the Cypher from Scrubby Canadian on that raise, Sushi on the Viper, Jello on Fade, and I believe New Meta is the other one playing there on the Brim. And then on the side of Humber College, we're going to see Kujo on that Gecko. Rays, or Nick's picking Rays, Coma going with Sky, Gwester as the Viper, and Maka as the Brim. So pretty standard picks here. Uh, Gecko's a little interesting. Haven't really seen that one picked up too much in competitive play. Absolutely. We haven't seen it in a while, actually, in competitive play. So that is a spicy pickup for Humber College. Maybe that's going to be what they think is going to put them over the edge. And it is chilling oh, on chillin', that okay. Brimstone. Uh, for the side of St. Clair College, a very, very strong roster mm -hmm. here, and they will look to take this map without uh, without much struggle, but Humber College, with that gecko pick, might put a, a little stop in their plans. Absolutely, and St. Clair College starting on the defense side. It looks like Academy is going to be starting on defense for at least this first map here. Um, and as we take a look, we are on Bind, so a very classic map, seen a lot of times it's had... Plenty of changes made to it, um, so we'll see how the Saints have adapted and how they work this map. Yeah, Bind is a very, very old map. Everyone knows the ins and outs of Bind, so we'll see what, what team goes with what strategy to put them over the top here. It's looking like a bit of a B push coming out from the side of Humber College of St. Clair. Have a couple members ready there. They do have that Cypher as well on the defensive side, which will make holding down these sites just that much easier. But let's get started. Round one is underway, and it's going to be a very slow B push coming out from Humber College. No contest will be here. Scrubby is the only one up there. They're going to dog him out, which means that he has to get out of there quickly. He has to take on three members, and he goes down immediately. Now the side of Sinclair on the flank. Canadian Jello finding a couple picks out of that TP up mid. Are they going to be able to push through and find that flank? Chill and just holding it down here and the side of Humber College are kind of struggling to push into the site. They're all still in hookahs. Canadians on 20 HP on the flank here inside the teleporter. Not the best spot for him, but the side of Humber College have to move up as they're just burning their own clock right now. Absolutely. They are stuck knowing that two of the Saints are in that teleporter just waiting to pop out should they choose to rotate around. But they are have to worry or about chilling here on the brim, and now as they put a util out, they are going to make their push onto site and start the plant. Good play there from Humber College, able to create a lot of space, and now we should see the members in the front quarter be able to move up. They will be. We're going to see the rays go for long, as well as that viper on the flank. It's going to be just chilling here, coming down from main. Everyone else is going to be behind. Let's see how St. Clair decide to play this. They do have the men advantage. Not too much HP on the side of Humber on that raise as well. So mm -hmm. the Saints can find some good trades. This Watch round should be theirs. We see Sushi on the Viper making sure that nobody's sitting in that corner. Now they know that nobody is. The Saints need to pick it up a little bit because that spike timer is ticking down. There's going to be the fires Last coming down. Canadian Jello and Chillin all at once just get the eliminations. And St. Clair College are able to retake the site. And the first round will be theirs. Absolutely well executed in the end there. Not too much time left on the clock before that spike was going to go off. So they got it just in the nick of time. And each of them finding a pick of their own was the perfect way for that to go out. Well executed by the Saints. Right here. And you could see the economy second round. They're buying the Bulldogs, a Guardian, and a couple Spectres. Good buys from them. Humber College going to choose to save up their money. A bit of a light buy there for the Viper Sheriff coming out from the get-go as well as the Rays. So still have to be a little bit careful if you're on the side of the Saints. But a very good start for them on this defense. And they're going to look to push that momentum. Absolutely. And now Humber going to choose to test out the MVP waters here. with A right now. But they've got two in Chowers area here. Sushi going to think of that dog would get pain chilled out. But I don't believe they spotted the Rays there and they might be able to find one canadian finds two though before being traded oh. out and maka and kujo able to find a pick a piece and get the shower area cleared maka gonna be able to pick up that specter too, get a little bit of an upgrade here 3v3 now in the situation but saint's doing a good job of holding them off so far i mean that's pretty good for humber college they're on the save round and they're able to get a couple weapons for themselves so now 3v3 it is very very even they are still looking to go up that a site but 
the brim smokes just holding it down. Mm -hmm. They still have 50 seconds, a good amount of time, could always back up and regroup, but it looks like they're gonna full on send it onto this A side Viper Smoke coming down. along as well. Let's see what the Brimstone King down here. Great smokes here. They should have a good amount of space to work with here as they just walk onto the site. They'll try and get the spike down in default and they do. Kojo right on this Gecko trying to make a lot of space here as the Viper is sitting in here. Scrubby is pushing in with the Guardian. We'll have to find the shots and will do. He's getting pushed now by another member. Has to get out of here quickly or else this will be danger. He does spot out the Brimstone, but he's able to make it out alive, which is so, so crucial. Now in the 3v2, same kind of user members, but they will get shot from each side. And just like that, Maka 3k on the Brimstone. That is a great round for Humber College, saving after losing the first round. Now putting themselves in a pre premium position to build their lead. Absolutely. Now that they do have a little weapon upgrade and able to buy up some Vandals and Phantoms, they are going to have a little bit of a better time going into this round and finding that groove, especially in that couple early picks in that shower area, were very, very helpful for them and they were able to take control of sight so, so swiftly. And now it looks like they might be looking to imitate the same thing as they're kind of splitting up to try and get around into the say site. Yeah, it's going to be another A push, it looks like, from side of Humber. Now they have the gun advantage. They're going to look to play a bit aggressive here. There's the Sky Dog. They're using that one very, very well to make a lot of space for themselves. Mm -hmm. Going to get that ult orb as well for free. And having this weapon advantage, I think they're going to try and storm out onto this point. But let's see what St. Clair can do to maybe slow them down. There's going to be the orb coming up. He's going to shoot it down. Someone shot it down for sure. And now the spike should be making its way onto the site. Sushi's going to get hit by the dog, I believe. So he's going to be stunned up a little bit. Scrubby is sitting all the way on B side alongside his Raven. There's the plan going down. They are able to get a pick very, very early, but Sushi does go down to the Viper. It's going to be a one for one. The Bulldog is picked up, but they are all the way in shower area. Maka is holding it down here with the Brimstone. They just don't have the guns, Sinclair, to play these long range sightlines as Nyx takes down Canadian and Nyx finds yet another one. This is looking like yet another great round from Humber College as Sinclair just can't seem to make up any space. They're playing this one slow. Jello on 88 HP. Gonna have to find a couple picks here, but Nyx finding a two headshots around the corner there. 4K for him. Humber College able to take the 2 1 lead here. Absolutely doing a great job continuing the role now. St. Clair College now able to f fully buy up those Vandals and Phantoms. It, we will now see if they are able to slow the roll of Humber College right now as this A-site seems to be working well for them. And St. Clair College realizing that is going to put four... Oh, looks like Cypher is going to head... Scrubby is going to head off to B now as per usual after placing the trips over at A. But now... Knowing this A push could come, Spike kind of being left Watching in an interesting spot as Brim is going to push up that B long, might be played there. And now shower engagement happening once again. We see Canadian and Viper both in there waiting for anybody to push through the smoke. This is the first time we've seen both teams have weapons this game. There's the Sky Flash coming out, won't hit anything. Coma will take down Canadian to start off the round. That's a huge pick getting that raise. And it's going to be looking maybe like a bit of a slow A push coming out from Humber College. They're just waiting for all their abilities to come back online so they can really hit this one hard. As Sinclair Me uh, College have a couple members all the way on B site. The fade is just sitting over there, but as the Cypher moves over, the push is going to come through from Humber College. Chillin is able to find Kojo. There's going to be the raise ultimate coming down very, very early here from Nyx, but not able to find anything, taking so much damage as well. We'll get healed up. Brimstone's on 1 HP for the side of Humber College, and they, they can't really push through fully. The Viper cannot get that plant down. It's going to be very, very hard for them. 30 seconds left. Humber College have to make a move, but you could see... Fade from the side of St. Clair is all the way on B side, so Humber do have a man advantage if they can go really, really quickly here. Chillin' in this corner is gonna be the bait for Sushi who finds two. 4v2 situation plant still has to go down. I don't think they have any smokes or anything left, so they're gonna try and rotate all the way over to B, but Fade has been waiting for this opportunity the entire round. Let's see if he can find his shots here, Jello. He's gonna look at one, won't find the kill there. Will the plant go down in time? Doesn't look like it. He does not get it if the Saints just stay alive. That will be their round and well played from them. 2-2 two, two game just like that. Absolutely. That tripwire coming in clutch at the end there as it was able to slow down Viper from being able to get that plant off in time. So great, great sight defense and great setups coming from Scrubby here. 
especially with those trips. They can just help in the most perfect way for giving away position, slowing down the attackers, and that's exactly what it did. And now Saint's going to be able to buy almost completely up here. A couple Guardians coming out after spending so much on the last round. But Humber, having saved a couple rounds, able to buy up fully again this round. So we shall see who takes it as they slowly make this approach onto A again. We're going to see the three commit to showers here. Nobody inside actually contesting them yet. The dog's going to be able to figure out that one out soon, and they'll be able to waltz in here and start to make some space for themselves. Yeah, the Saints decide to three stack, but there's going to be Brimstone on the flank. Chilling finds one, won't be able to find much more, but now the Saints decide to swing out. Canadian finds two, Scrubby does get traded out, but now it's a 3-4-2 for the side of St. Clair College. Spike oh, is buddy. down. It's going to be just the Brimstone on his lonesome, but Wester looking at how much space he made up on the Viper. 2v2 situation. If the bomb is going to be surely be picked up by Brimstone here. Should we go for a plant here? But St. Clair College are making their way over towards this A slime. They're able to get back in time before really the spike goes down, which is huge for them. Brimstone is still in showers, but that smoke into heaven is very, very good. They should be able to walk through easily and get the sp spike down. Absolutely. Sushi right in that heaven area waiting for the plant to go down jello here Last comes the fade eye it won't spot anybody guester gonna be able to pick up sushi there and now it is all on jello to see to find the final two here he's gonna peek around the corner Take it nice and slow. Both of Humber College's last two players are in the showers, just waiting for that defuse sound. Smoke's going to be going down. This is a great opportunity, and they've got the Brim Alt online just in case. And there it is. Going to be able to push Jello off of the spike for a little bit. Just going to send the dogs out, try and spot anybody out, maybe get a blind. Going to fake tap it here. Might not be quite enough though, gets a couple shots off, but nothing quite to finish it yet. I'm gonna pick up the Vandal and try to chase these two kills, but not gonna be doing it just well enough as Gwester finds their third kill and Humber takes the lead yet again. Great round there from Humber. They're able to slowly find those picks, even being down a person, just getting those frags when they needed to and mm -hmm. got the spike down, had the 2v1, had the Brimstone old played basically perfectly and give themselves a nice little 3-2 advantage. St. Clair also has to save now, and the economy side for Humber College is looking very, very good in this first half. Absolutely. A very close match, though. Both teams going back and forth at it. There's been nothing but action so far, and we can only expect to see more as they... Humber College looking for a little bit of a default play here. Going to send people all across the map to try and find those early picks. Gecko with the spike, though, facing down Scrubby and Raze. We'll see what he can do in a second if he's able to beat one of them out. Canadian is sitting inside of that teleporter on that raise. If anyone from the side of Humber ever walked through there, it should be a pretty simple kill for him. But St. Clair don't have the weapons, so they have to think of something to maybe just get a bit of an advantage. It's going to be a full on deep push from Humber. The mm -hmm. sky ult's going to pop, be popped early, and they're going to know where the members of St. Clair are. They're just running through here, knowing they have the huge weapon advantage. Nyx using all of his utility as Brimstone's just on that site fully alone, but he's able to stay alive for quite a while, chilling. He's trying to hold this one down as long as possible on his lonesome, but does he have the weapon to do it? He has a Stinger and a Dream, basically, at this point. He's going to look for the swing here, will not be able to find one. The plant is going down, and the plant won't go down fully yet. Sushi on 1 HP does get traded out. Scrubby picks up the kill, gets the Vandal, and maybe that's a little bit of hope that the St. Clair needs to bring this one back. He's going to have the Vandal on the flank. It's basically all up to him to win this round. Scrubby is going to go for the swing. He does not see anything as Jello does get taken down by Maka and Scrubby's gonna have to have an absolute miracle to win this one 1v4 he's gonna go for the first swing there does find one now he's down to 36 HP one more bullet and he will be dead does he spot anyone else out he looks directly below and Maka with the third kill of the round will give Humper College a 4-2 lead absolutely and able to save so much there keeping a bunch of vandals on the board but now St. Clair College, after saving for a round, able to buy themselves up, grab some Vandals and Phantoms again, and hopefully take a round home and start to build some momentum against this Humber College team as they are kind of falling behind, especially on the slow kind of pushes that Humber has been making. They're methodical, but they are effective. And it is just incredible watching this team play. 
without a doubt. It's going to be a quick push onto A side again from Humber, but they're going to use that Sky Dog so, so well. They've gotten so much uh, so much value from that one Sky Dog, just clearing out all of showers. Now they're going to try and make their way onto this A side. St. Clair, though, are pretty well defending here. They have three members who are just not letting anyone pass us. They're gonna choose to play a bit more aggressive. Sushi might go for a swing here as Koma is sitting here close. There's gonna be a trade coming out there. Can Koma find, find one? Yes, he a. does. And that's a two for two there. Absolute chaos has gone on inside of this bathroom. But the thing is, the spike is down. Sinclair just need to move, make their way over Sushi. Going for a trade here with Maka. Maka does find a bit more damage onto him. He's gonna throw out that Molotov. And now he knows that Sushi is trapped inside of that corner. Sushi has to be careful. Does get taken down. The spike should get picked up here by the rest of the members from Humber. Kaljan, I think they're gonna try and force their way onto this beast site. They have the man oh, yeah. advantage. It's gonna be all up to Scrubby. Go massive here. He does get spotted out though. That's a pick though from Jello. As Scrubby will go down. Jello's gonna pop his ultimate. And he's gonna make his way out. The spike does get planted down, planted. so it's gonna be all on to Jello now in this 1v2 situation. He does spawn one now, but now they know exactly where he is and they can hold quite a nice crossfire unless Jello can find a shot there up main. Will not find it, does get tagged up once. He's gonna choose to push the opponent in showers. See if he can find the pick here. Would be massive for him, but Kojo just That's trying to get out. Does get taken down 1v1 now. Jello against. Wester is gonna surely tap that bomb. Does he have any idea that Wester is still sitting up main? That's a great Viper wall for Jello. He's gonna look main. Does he spot him out anywhere? No, he does not. He has no idea where he you is. He's gonna to start the defuse now. Maybe could get half, but no, he won't. Wester with that peak will take him down, and it's a 5 2 lead for Humber College. Absolutely. St. Clair College was able to put a little dent in them there, kind of having to force them to spend a lot of money here to get those Vandals back. However, Humber College now on a roll, and St. Clair College going to call a timeout here. And good timing, too, as they are starting to fall down just a little bit in the ranks. And we can see that, once again, they are going to have to look for another save round going into this, into this next round. Yeah, not the start they wanted. They won the first round, but lost the second, which kind of put them at a financial just mm -hmm. disaster basically mm -hmm. humber college have been able to buy every single round since then st Clair though have been forced to save a couple times and also great play from humber college so far they're up 5-2 guester on that viper just 10 and 3 having an absolutely amazing mm -hmm. map so so far we're gonna have to see st Clair really pick it up a notch uh to really bring this one back absolutely guester and maca being two key players here for Humber College as they have done so much, especially both being controllers, being able to divide a site and section off a little piece for them to get those plants down has been absolutely perfect. And as we finish up this timeout, we will still have 16 seconds for the team to just have a little extra communication before they go into this next round. But looking at the buys, it looks like St. Clair College is gonna have to save here and gonna have to play smart if they wanna try and take this round home. This round might be hard for St. Clair to win, but they do decide to buy four sheriffs, so there is a chance. It's going to be a B push from Humber. It's going to be a B defense from St. Clair. They're all pushing up main. They're definitely going to hear the things that are going on down long, and we're going to see Canadian really go up far, but Wester's able to find one. That's a huge trade, though. If he can pick up the Vandal now, or the Phantom, sorry, that's going to be a huge pickup for them. All the teleports are getting hit, and they are rushing a site. The Rays needs to go over there as soon as possible with her ultimate. Could find so much value in these tight spaces, but you see Humber decide to back out and decide that these tight spaces are not where they're going to go into when St. Clair College have the Rays ultimate. Absolutely, and great one-way set up there by Sushi to block, help block off that shower area and make it undesirable for Humber College to push through. But here we go, some Etel coming out. A trade coming out as Canadian is able to find the pick on Nyx. Coma finding two though on the Canadian and Scrubby and that's gonna leave Chillin' and his Stinger all alone in a 1v3 situation and then post plant. It's gonna be a little bit tough here. He does have the ult online. He might choose to save it here, especially considering could be much better used in a couple rounds, but as he pushes up, he's going to be peeking no this idea. corner. And finds the now first one on the coma there. 
And now it is just the Gecko and the Brim. He does trade out for a Vandal, so he's going to make a better pick. He's going to tap the Spike. He's going to tap nice it strike. once more. All that's left is Gecko, but he doesn't know he's right behind the box. Thinks he's in the shower area. Jillian going to start the defuse now, and Gecko knowing he's not going to fake it. Going to peek out, and Cujo finds that last pick, giving Humber yet another round. Great play there by Humber. The, the two rounds in a row, it's been a 1v1 with the spike down, but mm -hmm. their members are good enough to realize that they don't really have to play too aggressive. Just wait for that fake, wait for the second tap, and the second tap is usually when people stick to that one. So great play by Kojo there, clutching it up and giving Humber College a 6-2 lead. Absolutely, and starting to look at the next round, St. Clair College spending all they have on these Vandals, Phantoms, and Full Shield. And looking at Humber, they're slowly starting to make a dent in the economy. If they can keep getting these kills and force them to have to rebuy each round, it will work. And Viper Pit coming right out onto B to make it inaccessible. That's going to be all Sushi's doing there. And Chillin' going to find a first pick on a Nyx there. Absolutely incredible first find. Wester pulling up B, sh or sorry, A short here. We'll try to look for that teleporter, try to make some room. Spike is left near B main, so they are just kind of playing a default, waiting to find those picks, but St. Clair College does have them on the ropes for this round so far. It's the best start to a round St. Clair have had so far. They find the opening pick in the showers area, which they have struggled so much to do in this game. Chillin's gonna have to back out of here, drop a smoke down, and make sure that Humber College can't walk through. That's a free ult orb if anyone wants to pick that one up, but I think Wester might have his ultimate here and might look to use it, but Chillin's able to find another pick in one Canadian and Sushi. All everyone on the roster is just finding picks left and right. It's all up to Kojo here on this Gecko. He's gonna go back towards this spike and in a 1v5 scenario. This is looking more than left. one for St. Clair College. He's gonna look maybe to find a couple picks, maybe even save his gun, but St. Clair College down 6-2 are not going to play too aggressive and they're going to just take their round and uh, try and make their way back in this half. Absolutely. B site completely inaccessible and knowing that there's people sitting in corners on A, it is definitely the left. save that you want to have. But might peek up here, try to find a pick or two to help dent Saints economy even more but he's got to be careful he's going to throw the line and Canadian is going to peek right out as soon as he hears it and find a great pick making it a flawless round for St. Clair College and that's going to help them moving into the next couple of rounds. That's a huge momentum swing especially the flawless is where as well just going to give them little that little bit of energy that they so much need you could see only a couple members on their team in the positive on the KDA. Gwester has ha been having an absolutely insanely map uh, insane map on this Viper, 11 and 5, just so, so strong so far. But St. Clair could tie this half up if they take this round. The economy of Humber College is not looking too good. But at Humber College, when they are most desperate, they're going to come back to what has worked so well. They're going to try and this push onto a site yet again. Absolutely. Clearing out showers now with that dog. They are going to spot the brim there. And they got to be careful as they push up as Chillin has been a mighty warrior through and through and proved it many many times but now sky all coming out gonna blind here comes the showstopper as well as he finds a pick on a scrubby and then a double on the chillin and that is gonna open up a site for the taking here as paint shells go out and spikes is bound to go down soon saints are kind of backed up into their spawn around the heaven area Ujo is gonna get that plant down using the wingman and now they look to finish off the saints this round as they hunt them out and close off all their space for retake yeah, Canadian also doesn't have his ultimate used at this round, didn't find too much with that. As soon as he peeks, does get taken out by Koma. 2v5 now for St. Clair College. They're gonna try and make their way up, but there's just so many crossfires. Nick is able to find one, and Jello does get taken down. Humper College, after just getting flawless to get their own flawless and take a 7-3 lead in the half, guaranteed to be leading by halftime. And on a map that's kind of pretty good for the defenders, I would say. So. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to be feeling good about themselves, but St. Clair College need to finish this half out strong, take these final two rounds home, and make it a 5-7 game. Absolutely doing a great job so far, carrying momentum through and through. Humber College has proved that they can do it, but in this next round, we will get another full fight as both teams are able to buy up, but it, this time it is St. Clair College who has to spend all their pennies on the guns. So we shall see if they are able to save up this round get another win we see both brim alts online and ready to use so 
could be interesting. And Humber College having that Viper Pit, been holding onto it for a while, waiting for that perfect time to use it. They are going to take it very, very slow this round, just holding outside the showers. And as the smoke clears, Canadian's going to find a pick, but isn't quite able to boost himself out of there quite the right way. And Nyx is going to be able to trade him out, making it a 4v4. So no flawlesses for either team yet, but still playing it quite slow even after that first pick. Yeah, able to get the sky, which is a lot of flashes. And mm -hmm. I think that's the best member for St. Clair to kill early. That Sky has been making so much space for Humber College, but they're going to choose to four-man up a main. There's going to be a Cypher trip right here, and it will let them know immediately that everyone's here. They could maybe look for a Teleporter play here. Let's see what they decide to do. Are they going to try to fight through the Viper Wall? That's a great raise. Nate it will do a little bit of damage to Sushi, but he's able to stay alive. Sumber College still have the choice of teleporting away, left. but they're gonna go for the site. They're gonna go to Plant on Aguester is gonna ultimate over here, but so will the Brimstone ultimate inside of St. Clair College. Still 20 seconds left, so plenty of time to plant down, but inside of that Viper ultimate, things could get very, very hectic. 15 seconds left. Let's see what can get done. The plant desperately needs to go down for the side of Humber College, but Nyx is gonna be left. in that decay. Kojo is planting it down. Sushi does find a pick, finds another pick, as Kojo gets taken down. It's all gonna be on Guester here. In this Viper World, he's on 6 HP, is able to stay alive. So, so close to taking him down. There's the Brimstone out as well. He's holding down a lot of space here. Maka gonna have to go massive for his team here. Gwester still making sure that that spike cannot be defused. There's the Brimstone ultimate inside of the Viper ultimate. And so much delay here coming out from the side of Humber College. St. Clair definitely needs to get onto the spike. Gwester on the Viper will look for the flank, won't find much. Mako gets taken out by Jello as well, and that is going to be a very, very crucial round going over to St. Clair College. Absolutely incredibly well played. Saves the ults for the perfect timing, and a lot of util dumps in that round, and St. Clair College going to come out on last top, only losing one half. member. So as we head into the last round of this half, they are going to be able to full buy yet again, and both so will Humber, and it's going to be an interesting final half with the potential being either an 8-4 finish or a 7-5. Yeah, both teams have the full buys, have all the weapons they could ever want, all the utility. A lot of ultimates burned there from both teams, honestly, so, mm -hmm. so much going down there. We're going to have just the Gecko ult in this last round. Want to see him use it here. It's going to be another A push coming out from Humber College. They love going through that showers. And that's where they're going to make their way. They do leave the spike behind. So a bit. they've slowed down a little bit since they've started this match. And it's an interesting strategy. I don't know if Saints were ready for either of these. But it's a 7-4 game. This round is crucial on who's going to win this matchup. As let's see if anyone wants to go in. We were both teams playing so, so slow. But Gwester is so far in there already. How did he get so far up a main? Nobody is able to spot him out. Look at the angle he has. He's able to find two. He's going to peek. Chillin' here, but he will go down. Still a great start for him. Chillin' has to find a second pick there onto Nyx, but he won't. And that's going to be the site for the side of Humber College. They should be able to get this plant down as the other two members of St. Clair are looking to rotate over. Absolutely. Here comes Little Bro with the plant, and he will put it down in default as the rest of Humber can now back up. Gecko with that ult on line two. That'll be great for stopping the plant as he can just sit back and wait, watch for flank, but neither of them coming there. Is Scrubby and Jello gonna come through main? Oh yeah. Slowly pushing Monster up, here comes the, the Gecko ult. He's gonna look through U-Haul to see if he knows anything. He's gonna get shot out and get a little intel inside of Humber Scrubby, putting standing. the cage down as Combo finds the pick on the Jello. And this might be it as Scrubby's gonna push up, try to find this pick on the <sighs> Brim, but unfortunately taken out by Comas for their second pick, and Humber College takes this half eight Switching to four. Sides. Yeah, great, great half there by Humber oh College. Following Gwester's lead, you know, he's doing man. God's work on that Viper, just getting in the right spots at the right time, finding the huge picks, and Humber College, 8-4 lead at halftime. I don't think either of us saw that one coming, but it's going to be size flip. Now, St. Clair College on the attack. Maybe if they can be a bit more decisive and just make their mind up 100%, do go follow their plan would be a good way for them to attack this one, but what do you think they need to change up to maybe bring themselves back into this game? Well, now that they're on the attack, take kind of what Humber was doing and try to use it to your advantage here. You know, that they played slow, they kind of 
waited for those first picks, kind of always playing a default sort of move. And especially on bind here with those teleporters, that is the best way to go because just bouncing from one side of the map to the other is, is super, super easy. But it looks like Saints are going to opt for a quick sprint here on to a site. That boombox didn't get noticed, but not going to dole out any good damage yet. Nyx just spraying through the smokes, hoping to find something. The rest of the Saints now going to teleport through over to B, and that's all they need is the rest of Humber is going to slowly flow through spawn and get back on the site, and Saints might have lost their chance for a good plant. I think they're making a lot of space here, though. Able to go two for two. Gwester finding the pick on the chill there, but we'll get taken down by Scrubby, and that should be the plant going down, but the Rays is picking this one out. The Brimstone is making his way over here. There's still one Down. more Spike smoke planted. for him left, and he's going to place it down right there. All three members of St. Clair grouped up. Jello and Sushi both going on there. to this huge flank. But as they do that, Humber College are looking to push into the side, Find and they're able to take out Scrubby. Now it's a 2v2 situation. Full HP on all members. Let's see who can find what Nyx is going to give a little tap. They have no idea where they are. Sushi and one Jello one for one there Last as Jello is able to find the two picks there and a huge shots from him there to give the Saints the round. They're able to fit, win the first round of the half again. They just have to get uh, use their advantage here. Use the money advantage. Use their guns. Play those long sight lines and s snowball a little bit into this lead. Absolutely and certainly not forgetting the spike and spawn would be a huge huge help here. It looks like <laughs> Might be a little bit calm air, calms air about who is going to pick it up and take it, but chilling. Going to run back and grab that before the round starts. And like you said, they are going to buy up here yet again after taking a first round in the half. Bulldogs and Spectres are the way to go. So hopefully they might go for a fast play here again and try to get something going. The Cypher Cam is going to be taken out very, very quickly here. So they do know that someone's kind of waiting around that aim short area. But Cujo, or sorry, um... Brim and Viper are going to start to push up a little bit out of showers, but might get picked up by the Brim here as the rest of the Saints make their way towards B, which is completely open now. Yeah, the Saints are deciding to play slow, which I did notice a lot last semester mm -hmm. when they do get those gun advantage. They like to play a default. They like to just have a longer sight line. They just have time to shoot at your opponents, and they have time to shoot at you. When you have the weapon advantage, you will hap happily take that matchup, but they're all going on to B side. They're all sitting in this long area. They have to go kind of quickly before the side of Humber can really defend. Como Holy just caught out in, in the middle of no man's land. I guess shot down by all five members in the plant Spike will drive. be going down. There are people up in Hookah, a couple of them, and the other two are in CT. That's a great, great Viper thing coming out there. There's going to be a great risk nade coming out as well, but no damage taken for side of Sinclair College. Spike does go down 40 seconds for Humber to do something, and without the weapons, this should be very, very hard. But Maka is able to find the pick. His raise is on one HP, though, so very, very close there. Chillin finds one. Nick's Chillin finds two, actually, and that's great shots from him. Should lock up the round for side of the Saints as Jello finds one. Nix with a beautiful shot there on to Jello, but on 12 HP, might be a little bit too late for him in the 1v3. Getting a couple kills, though, in this round has been very, very crucial for them. There's a bit of hide and seek going on. Canadians able to pick up the enemy raise. 6 8. Humber College still in the lead, but now will be the most important round of the match so far. Both teams going to be able to buy those weapons. Humber going to have a little bit more, but St. Clair, if they can win this round, they're right back into this game. Absolutely, though. It looks like Jello and Sushi going to opt for a save here, only picking up a sheriff and a ghost. So, Humber now with a gun advantage and playing some pretty good defense so far. We know that they definitely have the accuracy and the gun skill they need to win these rounds. It's just a matter of if they can stop the Saints in their tracks before they're able to take sight. And as we get underway, chilling with what looks like an interesting lineup here, but I would say that's what he's definitely known for. Nyx and Brim going to once again push up into the shower area and try to take it over. And I believe that's Chillin's Molly that just popped in there somehow, closing them off. So this might be a very good opportunity for Saints as Sushi and Canadian find a pick each and get the spike oh down. My. Jello able to find Maka there in the shower and upgrade himself to a Phantom. And now Saints in a 5v2 situation looking for yet another flawless round. Sky stuck in that teleporter room. Oh no. And they're just waiting. Flash comes out. Coma one finds one, but remaining. quickly traded out. And now it is all up to Cujo in heaven. All util on the board with a Vandal, but might this might be the, yeah, 100% definitely a chance to save here. Yeah, I think 
Kujo will just save this one. A great, great round from Sinclair. Having the weapons disadvantage, mm -hmm. just finding those picks, even with the Ghost into Phantom, we're able to find it. So mm -hmm. they will make this a 7 8 game. They're going hunting for him onto that B site, but he kind of stayed closer towards the A site, so they won't be able to find him. But Sinclair College are bringing this one back. I think if you're Humber College, you either want a timeout now or next round to kind of bring things back. And yes, there it will be. I mean, they're, they're going to be saving this round for sure. They don't really have the weapons, but maybe they talk about something this time out and maybe they force e even force up a buy and just pull out something crazy that St. Clair College won't be ready for, and they're going to look to fire back. Absolutely. If they can find a good way to defend these sites effectively, they will be able to stop St. Clair College in their tracks, who is, I would say, definitely shown that the attacking on bind is definitely the side you want to be on here. And it might come down to that simple advantage for Saints to win here, especially since they are now one only one round behind. They have closed that gap incredibly and are looking to do so in this round as well. Yeah, without a doubt. And they're going to have the full weapons for a couple rounds at least. Look at their credits, 5,300, 4,000. There's so, so, so much mm -hmm. money for them, kind of like Humber was last half. So if St. Clair can keep the ball rolling and rolling and don't let Humber mm -hmm. back into this game, it would be great for them, especially after such a rough start in the first half. They'd be glad to go on a bit of a run here in the second half. Absolutely. St. Clair College once again leaving the spike in the back area there, but they are able to pick it up and they're start going to start set up a little bit more around both sites having tripwires down in good flank spots here. Scrubby with some interesting angles for those tripwires, finding some good ways to hide them from the enemy. And as we get underway, it looks like St. Clair College might take this one a little bit slower. Cujo, where is Cujo right now? On B somewhere. Oh, he's looking up. I thought he was <laughs> standing on the wall there, and I was like, did he glitch himself out of the map? But I'm no, out. he is just oh, finding an interesting spot to get that blind right back to him without losing it, and he's going to get some info here. But St. Clair College taking it nice and slow, taking a page out of Humber's book, waiting for those first picks. Yeah, they like to play that default so much when they have the weapon advantage, and that's exactly what they're doing. They're not even, like, there's no room for error. They can't mm -hmm. they can't even make a mistake if they wanted to with how slow they play the round, and that's exactly what you'd want to do when you have the weapon advantages. Let's see what they you, decide to do. They got some info out of the enemy team, know where they are, and it looks like St. Clair are going to be loading up for a big A push here. Scrubby on that Cypher, you know, not the strongest offensive character, but he can still watch the flank very, very easily with those traps. Yeah. Canadian and Nick's both going to throw that nade as Canadian very, very dangerously flies through their Nick's. Didn't even have a shot at him there. Does he have any idea that the Brimstone here is a great shot coming out from Maka. He's on 70 HP though. He can't run anywhere because of the Brimstone and that's going to be a trade. The plan does need to go down for St. Clair. There it is. The Viper is going to be able to shoot down those things, but it misses by just a little bit. So Gwester allows the spike to get planted now to 4 before situation. Gwester going to look for a shot. He won't be able to find it. Does turn the corner. Koma finds the kill for him. Gwester looking for those shots. Kojo is able to find Sushi. Now it's a 2 before situation situation for the side of St. Clair, but Chillin can go One massive here, he does raining. get taken down, it's going to be all up to Scrubby uh, in the 1v4 on the Cypher, does not find any of them, and Humber College pulling out the timeout will be able to get the Thrifty there and get the Spike defused, will upgrade all their weapons and will put themselves in a prime position to win this first map. Absolutely, that timeout was super effective, able to slow down the momentum of St. Clair College and they were able to get that thrifty, which obviously is a huge, huge boost in their egos there, especially since, you know, you went in with a very, very obvious and huge weapons disadvantage and to take it back, be able to upgrade and take back the round as easy as they did. It was absolutely incredible. And now, once again, at even guns, we will see how Humber looks to take these next couple rounds, kind of playing a very similar setup here. Looking exactly the same as last round. The spike is being left behind. It is a default kind of round, but St. Clair gonna make a bit more space up B long here, but you can see Humber College are happily giving up that space. Spike is still down for St. Clair College, so they can't actually commit to this bomb site, and they're kind of just wasting their own time, but at the expense of getting rid of enemy team's utility. So there's a lot of strategy to this game, and that is certainly one of them. I think it's going to be another 
maybe A push, but it looks like they might be setting up even for that teleporter play and make their way onto B. No, those two members are going to back down, and it's most certainly going to be an A push. Absolutely, but they are going to have to fight off Nyx, Viper, and Brim here, who have been very strong players this whole game here. And now as they make their push, we're going to see the Fade Eye come out and feel a couple players. Canadian able to find a double there. Incredible accuracy. He peeks out. He's going to find his third onto Nyx there. Putting off the pain shells. He's now at 59 HP. He does have the Showstopper online, but it is all up to Sky and Kujo to figure out what they're going to do for this retake. Great play there from Canadian. He's able to find three. We'll look for the fourth, but Kona will be able to find him there. Still 2v4 situation for Humber. Very, very hard when at that St. Clair have the spike down, have been able to all to get rid out of the sight. So they have so much, so many angles just looking all across there. Koma is going to have to be pushing here with the sky. Yes, we'll there. Something there, Scrubby takes him out. It's going to be off to Kojo here in the 1v4. He might just make it out with his life. Look for the save. Now he's going to look for the picks. He's able to find one onto Susi there, but will go down in St. Clair College. Much needed round back. They are able to get it. Now it's an 8 9 game. They have all the money they want, I believe, to buy up fully. Both teams do actually, except for Maka. He w just won't have enough for anything there. So this round is going to be crucial. Whoever wins this one might be looking to take the map. Absolutely. St. Clair College once again closes the gap to a one-point deficit for themselves. They need to keep doing some work. Scrubby able to pick up a little bit of the slack there, find a couple more kills that round. Doing great so far as the Cypher, and with his ult online, can be absolutely huge if he's around for that first pick to give them the intel they need on where the rest of the defense is. Yeah, I mean, he's been able to, uh, this, oh, Nyx gets a huge pick onto Scrubby to start off the round. I was going to say that this Gecko is just getting so much information for them here on this B-Long site, but now it's going to be a quick push from St. Clair. Can Canadian make his way out in with the ult? Well, look for the kill onto Koji there. Will be able to find a chill and finds Koma as well, and that should be the spike going down. There's going to be the pain shells coming out, but won't be able to spike find planted. too much, and this raise on the flank will be the main Thing here, the ultimate will come out here. Will she be able to find one? Yes, she will, but chill gets the trade back. All living on 9 HP inside of that site, but being alive is so so crucial. Jello and Mac are gonna have an absolutely massive 1v1 here. Whoever wins this one, oh my goodness, that could be a massive kill. Maka picks up the gun. Does he know there's anyone around the corner? He, the team is able to trade it out, and there's the smoke onto Hookah Sushi taking a lot of damage. There's the brimstone ult coming out, which means the spike defuse will begin halfway down there. We need to get some shots through the smoke, but he won't be able to find it and the defuse will go down. Did find a lot of shots onto that Viper, but did not find the kill. Both Vipers living the round on absolutely one HP, but the round goes over to Humber College as that's a crucial one. St. Clair still have a bit of money left, so they will buy up, but Humber College desperately needing that round. Pulled it out and take a 10-A lead. Absolutely. They are now three rounds away from taking this first map, and they have found the momentum that they need in the last couple rounds, being able to pick apart the Saints' offense, as they have done so much better in post-plant scenarios than they have for the pre-plant. <clears throat> so, as we get underway here, we are going to see a big A push come from the side of St. Clair College, pretty well stacking all their chips around there. The Prowler will give away that nobody's quite in showers yet, but that Molotov is going to hold them out for a little. Without a doubt, it's going to be an A push from the side of St. Clair. They, they're going to use the Humber College of going through the showers and see if they can get an opening, but we're not able to find anything too early. They're able to get pretty deep into the showers, but the hardest part is actually getting out onto the side. And you can see the Cypher just sitting in spawn, making sure no one flanks, but Humber College haven't really been too big on the mm -hmm. flanks on this defensive side, kind of playing a more standard game. As you can see, Nyx and Gwester just holding this one down for their team. And it's a very another very, very slow round from St. Clair on the attack, which means there's going to be chaos in these next four seconds. Scrubby just watching that flank, making sure nobody can really flank, but nobody's trying to flank, so no. let's see what St. Clair can get done here. Absolutely, and now it looks like they are going to start to make their ways out of showers, but they've got three people holding it down. The Prowler is going to get shot down before he has a chance left. to find someone. Pain shells and snake bites coming out to slow them down and stop them from leaving the shower area, but Mac are going to start this one off, find the pick on two Canadian there, and try to exit shower. Sushi and Jello, Jello with two there, 
They are gonna open up the site here, and they are gonna be able to get the plant down. Scrubby's gonna use that ult and get the kill on where the last two defenders are. And this is going to, it looks like it is now turned into a St. Clair College round. Sky ult coming out from Coma. They are gonna find three people there, but be shot down very quickly. Last one to be able to spot out and give that intel that it needs. And now St. Clair College, not too much util on the board. They're not gonna wanna stray too far from the spike, but they are gonna back way, way up and try to wait for the fake defuse. But here we go, Kujo's gonna send the wingman on it. This might throw them off as Koma finds one, and Co Kujo finding one. Oh my oh goodness. My Lanta and each finding two apiece and having the wingman defuse. Absolutely incredible, and they put themselves two away from the win. What an incredible retake from those two. Yeah, I mean, you, that's the power of the Gecko right there, able mm -hmm. to get the defuse going. Each player able to find two huge, huge kills, and that is a heartbreaker for St. Clair College. They're going to use a timeout here as Humber College are a couple rounds away from taking this map. This next round should be basically guaranteed for them as they have the fall by St. Clair College are kind of broke, only Sushi and maybe Scrubby and Jello might buy up, but this is what they're talking about in this timeout. Do they want to force half their team to buy, and if they lose, it's all over? Or do they want to maybe go for a bit of a half buy save so you can have enough next round? This is definitely what they're talking about in the timeout. Mm -hmm. But what do, what do you think they sh what do you think they should do? Well, their attacks haven't their offensive side hasn't been completely terrible. They've been able to grab four rounds four, so far, um, which has been you know doubling on what they went into the half with. Um, they just have to find a way to lock down Maka and Nyx and Gwester there as they have just been monumental in shutting down those sites and keeping them out. And even Kujo there on that Gecko has just been kind of deadly, especially with that wingman who can defuse. It's like a whole extra body on the field while you do things. But now as we take a look as the timeout finishes, looks like St. Clair is going to opt for that save and possibly have to go do or die for the next five rounds. Yeah, I mean, it's not the worst idea, I don't think, because it's either you risk it now or you risk it the next round, but except next round you're risking it with a full, full buy, so a bit better odds on the second attempt, but here's going to be the push. They're going in very, very quickly. You can see there's Canadian getting a pick with a stinger there. Gwester finding it back, but Scrubby finding a pick onto Gwester, and this is a great start for Simon St. Clair. Scrubby's on one HP, and Maka is going to find Cello with that Molotov. That's not what we want to see. Also, one HP onto Scrubby. It's going to be a hard round for St. Clair to win, but they do have the spike down. Coma is alive on this guy. Will let the dog come out. Kujo as well on Oh, Maka finding two, three picks right there with one clip and four kills for the round. And that will put Humber College on game point in this map one in the series. Absolutely incredible picks there by Mac. As I said, you got to find a way to shut him down early. He is one point away from his ult, which is huge on defense, especially being able to deny those early plants. St. Clair College had... A right idea there by running in quickly. You know, really throw off the defense. You've been playing slow so far. Throw them a curve, see if they fall for it. But their retake has just been absolutely incredible. And now Nyx is going to pull out the operator here. And it looks like they're going to stack all their chips on B, which might be the best call, especially with most of the Saints and the Spike making their way towards B long. I mean, this is a great call from Humber, to be honest with you. But St. Clair. They're gonna choose probably to go B sites instead. Quester used his ultimate very, very early. So St. Clair, no, not to push a site. And if they did, they would have to go all go through main. But I think they might even opt for that crazy play. I don't think Humber would see it coming at all if all St. Clair's members just ran up a main and planted the spike, played around the enemy team's Viper ult would be a very, very interesting play for them. And I think that's what St. Clair might go for. If they go right now, they will have a huge man advantage, but they're just being a little bit too hesitant. I feel like if they just played with the aggression that the varsity team plays with, mm -hmm. maybe it would be a little bit more success. But Humber College just playing the defense so, so well, so slow. And they're just letting the time tick down that they're allowed to, that they're, that they're allowed to let tick down. They don't really have to go anywhere. St. Clair are the ones that have to be aggressive, and they're pushing up Face your fear. Absolutely, that Viper pit is such a pain in the side of Saints. And Kujo able to find a pick there on Canadian, but being taken out by Chillin. Chillin gonna throw a Molly onto the shower door. Brim all coming down from the side of Humber. It's gonna slow down that plant, as I said. Left. And here we go now. 
with 30 Welcome seconds left. World. Another Viper pick going to be putting it side by Viper side. Planted. And it looks like the side of Humber's Viper pit is going to run out now. So now it is going to be a little bit more of a struggle for Humber for this retake, especially getting in here. But Gwester finds a pick there to even out or give them a bit of a man advantage here. Maka gonna push in, get taken, or sorry, takes out Jello here, but chillin' and Jello able to find a pick. Remaining. Each Mako finds the second. Oh, Sushi finding one of Gwester, and here we go, a 1v1, both oh, one shot, and, and Maka sprays through and gets lucky to find Sushi there and take the first map for the side of Humber. A great, great map from both teams, but Humber in the end they had down. that clutch the factor and are win. able to close around. So, and tired. the map, they will take the first map 13 8. So, a very, very great performance from Humber College, but uh, that was a very, very close map, a lot closer than anticipated. And Humber College really showing us how it's done. You can see Canadians chilling on mm -hmm. top of the scoreboards. They tried their hardest, but the rest of the team having a bit of a rougher game. But Humber College on the other side. Look at their KDA, 17, mm -hmm. 14, 16, 16, but Maka with 20 kills and, and 12 deaths, a great, great performance Absolutely. for them. Did not have maybe as many plants or diffuses or things like that, but he was just straight fragging on that brimstone, and that's a great start for Humber College in this series. Absolutely, and I can't say it enough, that trio there, Gwester, Nix, and Maka, absolutely dominating throughout holding off those showers in the first few rounds when saints were attacking and being able to do incredible retake especially with the help of kujo and coma there especially on those retake opportunities were just absolutely perfect being able to find those headshots find that perfect accuracy and finish off those rounds with ease and it was a close game 100 percent saints put up a good fight and they were able to take back a couple rounds, but Humber just showed they're a little bit more dominant on that map. So we will be going to a map two. We'll find out what that is in a minute. Um, but any last words about that match? <laughs> no, like that, that was a good first map. That was a good start to the series. It's a very exciting one. And I think mm -hmm. we might go all three maps, depending on how the second map goes. I think St. Clair are back with Vengeance now. They're not happy that they lost the right. first map. So... We're going to throw it to a very, very quick break, but we're going to be back with a map too right after this. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, everybody, to Game 2 between St. Clair College Academy and Humber College. Humber College were able, were able to pick up the first map, and we are going into Sunset for Map 2. Humber College deciding to go for Cypher, Rays, Fade, Omen, and Brimstone, while St. Clair decide to go for Omen, Cypher, Viper, Rays, and now they're going to go for the Gecko, mm -hmm. picking a book out of Humber College's books. That is an interesting one. What do you think about that? Uh, well, especially on Sunset here, it'll be very, very interesting to see. We're going to see Humber College start on the defense side here. Um, and yeah, the Gecko can be very, very useful, especially um, having, like I said, having that wingman who can do the defusing and the uh, planting. It's very, very important. Um, we'll see if uh, St. Clair College is able to use it as effectively as Humber College did in the last map. Absolutely. Humber College just <coughs> having a great, great start there on the first map. We're able to win the first half 8-4 and then tuck it down in the second half. I believe it was 13-8. to eight. Yep. <coughs> So a pretty close game there, five-round differential. But let's see how we're going to get started in the second map. One of the newer maps, but has been scrimmed so, so much. So 
a lot of teams definitely know the strategies on this one. It's Nyx gonna go very, very early on this race. Gonna look for a shot, does not find it onto Canadian. There will be make it, be able to make it up with his life as Canadian is able to break through that Cypher trip. It's gonna be all out push from the side of the Saints. Jello is getting down. Nyx does find a kill onto Canadian, but chilling. Finds the trade there. Chillin finds yet another one onto Mac. A great play from him there. Now it's a 4v3 for the side of St. Clair College. Jello will look to get that plan down. Chillin on 1h3. Has to be very, very careful, but it's a great sniper. Trap there coming out to make sure they can't see him through that. And in the 4v3 situation, St. Clair looking really, really good in this first round. Absolutely. Sushi holding down this mid area. He's going to find a couple shots. Able to take out Gwester there. Koma, though, right behind to find the trade. And now 2v3 for the side of Humber as they try to get this retake. Last player standing. Fox Styley oh my able goodness. to take out Chillin. But Scrabby with a nice little double there and closes out the round. Humber, St. Clair College taking the first round. And that's kind of been their strong suit. Always yeah. has been, always will be. Is that first pistol round, it's always a given. St. Clair College Academy must just practice with in the aim labs with a ghost all day all night because they just dominate every time they go into that first round but it's the second round where they need to be careful and we can see that they're buying vandals now uh, kind of making that super push scrubby stepping up here gonna be looking for a lot more kills yeah scrubby and chillin able to get two kills each so they can afford the vandal light armor and all the util they could ever want it's going to be important for St. Clair College here to win the second round. In the first map, they lost the second round, which led to Humber's comeback. But it's going to be the Saints, maybe going for a bit of a B push this time. The old orbs, so easy to grab on this map if you use your teammates. And you can see the Saints going to rotate all the way over to either mid or the A side. Absolutely. Going to take this one a little bit slower, looks, but mid is not a bad place to hold. Just kind of a weird layout of this map altogether is mid doesn't quite truly connect to both sites. It really only connects to the B site there. So it leaves them the one option, but they're going to retreat out here. Start to make their push towards A as Wester and the Fade decide to kind of back up just a little bit. Might give St. Clair College a little too much room to get here onto site. It's going to be a bit of a slower push from St. Clair, but when they do with the weapons range, as stated, they love to play it slow. They mm -hmm. like to look for these long sight lines, and they're going to re-change their mind again. They're going to make their way over to that B side. But Humber College looks like they're ro a bit over-rotating over to that A side as they are. They don't see the push coming left. through. But now the Cypher should tell them, guys, I need help over on this B side. Mm -hmm. The site should be basically free for St. Clair. They will be able to get this plant down. It's another great start for the Saints. Absolutely, they're able to get the plant down and still have Spike all five planted. people alive here. So now as they set up for the defense, they're going to be looking to control this mid area and control that back site. Make sure not to let Humber College onto it whatsoever. As Nyx is going to try to push up, but he's going to be stopped by the snake bite there. Chillin' going to send him live through. Sushi finds two there with the Bulldog on Gwester and Coma. Chillin' finding one of his own. Jello with another to finish it off. And now in a 1v5 situation, Fox Styley not going to be able to quite finish it off as Sushi finds three kills that round and gives St. Clair College a 2-0 lead. It's a great start for St. Clair. In the second map, Sushi finding a couple big picks there. The plant going down so early as well. Well, not so early, but the getting the plant down with all five members is very, very important. They were able to play the mind game between Humber, go A, B, go A, B, A, B, and eventually they made their mind up. They pushed with everything they had, got the spike down, and having the man advantage, the gun advantage, when you're up, uh, you're up. It's very, very easy mm -hmm. to defend the spike, especially when Humber College didn't have too much to retake. But it's going to be another very, very slow push here from St. Clair College. Humber College now able to buy up a little bit. And it's going to be a great trade there coming up from Chillin. But Fox Style able to take down Canadian as the first pick of the round is huge for him. Let's see how fast our Saints can get onto this B site. They're on there already. The plant is going down immediately. And this is great play from St. Clair. They're able to take this B site and half second raises all the way across the map. And there's two members watching down mid. So they're not going to be able to get this defuse very, very shortly. Scrubby is a massive pick there onto Nyx. But Gwester gets the trade. Will take a bit of his time off to go pick up that gun. But now it's a 3v3 situation. All three members right next to each other. Chillin' is going to find one. But Maka and Gwester and Koma in the 3v3 are able to get the better of St. Clair College. And will find the defuse. Absolutely. Well played there by Humber College. Good retake there through the middle. Able to pick out all the people 
watching and waiting, and they now solidify themselves and get a point on the board, closing the gap and look to start to try and take this lead on the first half here. And as we take a look at the buys, we can see uh, Humber College still going to have to save ever so slightly as they're using all their credits to buy, but so is St. Clair College using up all their money to get full shields and vandals and a phantom here. So going to have an interesting round ahead of us. Yeah, it's going to be another fireworks type of round. Either team takes this one. They're looking good economically. St. Clair College, though, really, really want to get this one after dropping the last one. This is the round you really want to retake your momentum. And they're going to leave the spike behind. They're going to take full control of mid here. Jello will pick up this flash attack up. But they're not able to find any picks as the side of Humber College is deciding to play this one very, very safe and not take any too aggressive challenges as... Let's see what can get done. Spike is still down all the way in spawn, but Canadian and Jello making so much room here. And Canadian able to find the shot there right onto there. Maka. Great start for St. Clair in this round. Jello still overwatching mid, but Canadian does get caught out. Coma getting a huge shot there on the fade. Makes it a 4v4 situation. And taking sight without that raise is going to become so down. much harder. Absolutely. Now, as they take Spike towards that A site. Might be a little bit dangerous here. So they got to push up past Nyx and Coma and out. take a look. Scrubby waiting around and looking to back up, try and find those mid picks again, as well as chilling, or sorry, as well as Gecko over there. I believe that's Canadian on the Gecko. Yes, it is, and it's going to be a push left. coming out from the side of St. Clair. 30 seconds left. It's very, very dangerous. Have to see how much this race can do. Do they have any idea that there is in this corner? They do. Sushi is looking for the shots here. He's able to get the headshot, and that should be the plug spark that should just get them into the site. And the spike should be going down any second now. Joe gets the plant left. down with enough time for B3 for side of St. Clair College as they look to hold on. This will be a huge round for them to win. It's Kona, Foxtail, and Wessler here on this defense. Gonna look to try and retake. That's a great flash if he can spot out Chillin. But Chillin in such a good spot up there. It's gonna take down Gwester. 4v2 situation now for the side of the Saints. Chillin, great positioning there on that omen. Able to find the nice angle. Scrubby is able to find the last two kills of the round. Trades out Sushi there. But a huge round for St. Clair as now they have all the momentum in the second map. Absolutely. Now extending their lead once again. Pushing it to 3-1. They are doing a great job starting off on the offense here. And if they can do a great job picking up the next couple rounds, they will have no problem on the defensive side as this map isn't, isn't really attacker or defender sided too much. Simply comes down to which team plays it just a little better. But that mid being very crucial for St. Clair College as they are able to cut off so much rotation. And now we see the five-man push towards A. Apart from Jello going to be going in the middle there, try to get some blinds. Looks like he's got an interesting one here to try and spot out anybody over on A. He's going to get shot out quickly though, as the rest of the Saints make their way around to Elbow. It's going to be a hard round for Humber to win. St. Clair looking to attack very, very quickly. Gwester does get spotted out, does not find any picks there. Canadian's going to throw the pain shells out there, make it for the space. He's going to choose to push through with this Vandal, but the smoke is so, so strong. Let's see what the St. Clair Saints up to do here. All four members just sitting in this tight little space, but the side of Humber, just they don't really have the weapons to fight them as Canadian takes down Gwester. Great start for them there. Was the smoke? I'm not too sure. Maybe... It was, it was, what a great shot mm -hmm. there from him. Has a great start there. Now you want to see St. Clair maybe ramp it up a little bit and get it inside of that site, but they stu still have 40 seconds. Of, I say that Canadian and Sushi walk in there. Sushi's going to find one. He's going to find a second. Yes, he will. Scrubby takes down Nix, and now it's a five on one situation. Fox left. style on this cypher will be on the flank, but Spike there's planted. only so much he can do. Spike planted. As soon as he gets found out, he will get run down by the rest of St. Clair College, but they definitely don't want to die too, uh, too, because money is important in a game of Valorant. Fox style may able to make his way all the way up to this corner, but St. Clair are just double smoking it. They're taking zero risks after losing the first map, and they're on track to, to push this to a map three. Absolutely, he's going to peek out here and immediately shot down a flawless round for St. Clair College, and now... Five rounds in, they are up four to one, doing a great job. 
This might be a chance for Humber to take a timeout soon, and there it is. They're going to call the timeout and start to figure out where they're at, where they're, they're going to go, and what they got to do to shut down the Saints offense. Without a doubt, and right now, I don't know what the answer is, especially on this map. It's a very, very mm -hmm. big map. If you're going A and the other team only has a couple members there, the chances of you taking that side are very, very high. So if St. Cl Clair has been playing this one a bit more slow and methodical, but when the time ticks down to around 30, 20 seconds, mm -hmm. that's when they make their decisive idea. And they're like, guys, we need to push into the site now. Let's take our angles. Let's use our man advantage as much as we can. And they've been playing it so, so well this half, only dropping the one round or the third round, which is a round you expect to lose after winning the mm -hmm. first two. So basically flawless gameplay from our Saints so far. And they really want to push this to a map three. Absolutely, and as we tick down the last few seconds here, we're going to see both teams fully buying, and Humber College obviously talking about what they got to do when they have these good guns to stop the Saints, because clearly having Vandals and Phantoms hasn't quite been enough yet, so what is the strategy moving forward? And it looks like they may have figured it out. This mid-push could be disastrous for the side of the Saints if it is executed correctly here by Humber, and mid control on any map is very very crucial as it just cuts off all rotation without a doubt and it's going to be the mid taken by humber this time off the timeout but now it allows the saints to just walk on to b side for free let's see how quickly they decide to do it jello gonna spot out absolutely nobody with his thingy now and now they're gonna be on to b side for free but wester is able to find a huge pick on to chill and make it out of his life with the spike go down yes there it is jello getting that plan down i hear welcome to my world there's a fade ult coming out as well so many ultimates canadian finds one wester able to find a couple scrubby finding that trade there 2v3 now for sad scenes and they're going to be able to stay alive there the viper ult so so huge here for scrubby let's see what he can do inside of this one look at satchel down a little bit but is able to stay alive sushi just keeping this ultimate online but scrubby does go down in a 1v3 now sushi able to get back inside of his ultimate but nyx just shooting at the same spot it feels like able to find a couple of kills there and that's a huge round for humber college to win so many ultimates invested by both teams and mm -hmm. humber college will definitely be feeling good about themselves after that one absolutely couldn't have said it better myself that timeout clearly worked and they were able to find something to help them out especially if that meant just meant slowing down Sinclair College's momentum going into that kind of cooling them off and they were able to find a second win by diffuse and post plant really has been their strength so far especially when you know time's on the clock and everyone's on edge even the people who have planted the spike you know fingers start to tingle a little more and mistakes can be easily made but now as we get underway here only two rounds between them St. Clair College not going to make the same mistake grab that mid control early on and Santa, they Santa. dominate it as they now control pretty much all rotation almost all yeah. rotation here they're going to push right up into their spawn here Canadian and Jello looking to do something here but we see Gwester and Maka holding it off quite nicely flying going to come out almost fine Canadian there but chilling going to be able to find Gwester and take out the smokes Nick's able to find Sushi now it's a 4v4 situation and it's looking like B site is maybe the site they want to go for as their cypher has made up a lot of room over there will get his on to site let's see how St. Clair decide to play this they're moving up mid the, both of the ciphers are both right next to each other and scrubby finds that pick that I should be the green light exactly for saints to run to be there's gonna be the cipher coming out as well and this round is looking as good as ever for st Clair. full control of this b site they're gonna plant it down with that gecko i believe mm -hmm. yes there the plant goes down and st Clair don't have, have to give up any room which is great for them they're stuffing Humber College in their own spawn is Scrubby. Scrubby able to find a couple headshots there. Nyx does find way back onto Canadian, but in the 3v1 situation, St. Clair College looking very, very good and trying to take this 5 to lead. Nyx, though, has been playing an absolute fire as the Rays in this game, looking to get a couple more picks here, maybe to slow down the economy of St. Clair. Let's see what he's able to find. There is a omen at the top of these stairs. He will be able to make it around the corner, but how far can he really make it? Let's get shot in the back as Jello takes him out. St. Clair College taking a 5-2 lead over Humber College. Absolutely, they're doing so, so good right now. 
and we're going to see another full buy as their economy is not quite hurting at all. Canadian, the only one there who's going to have to get a special request from the team here. And as we take a look at Humber, they are going to have to save this round, and things are starting to look a little bit dire, you know. Tables have kind of been turned in this one. Now they are on the defense first, so they're struggling just ever so slightly, but could have a chance to pull it up on the attacking side. We will take a see. Coma going to send out a Prowler to try to get some early information, but doesn't quite find anybody as no one's there waiting for him. Sane's doing a good job once again, taking this middle section and able to cut off some rotates here, but Gwenster going to be able to put some nice one-ways up with the smokes, and now Gwenster and Coma smoke is cleared for them and they have to sight on the mid wester with just a classic to his name gonna be trying to take on a vandal here but not quite gonna commit to it as they just want to waste some time here and try to get the saints on it yeah st clear don't really know what they're doing they do have the weapon advantage in this round humber are on a save but we've seen a couple of times on that first map even when humber don't have the best of weapons they are able to take some rounds there as Echo is going to be shot down. There are 50 seconds left, and I think St. Clair are going to be pushing this A side. But how dangerous is it really going to be? Canadian using that boom bot should make them a lot of space. Also, let them know if there's some enemies. And St. Clair last second decide to run all the way across the map. It's looking like a B push. You could see the Cypher and Brimstone starting to rotate over just a little bit. But Cypher is left. still going to stick around on this B side. And now he's finally going to get off it, which should give the Saints full control of the side. If they can go very, very quickly. Great smokes coming out from both. But Cypher deciding to back up, giving that one up. And that should be a free plant for the side of the Saints. They're going to get it down right here with 10 seconds to go. Seconds Playing left. perfectly around Spike the time planted. here. And Humber College just can't seem to do anything. Yet again, we see both teams having all five members clash post plant. Canadian's going to look to keep this one. Nyx. Nyx does get taken down. Canadian now going to kill the Omen as well. And all three members from Humber College are stuck inside of this smoke. Canadian is just spraying through their scrubby, able to find one. Canadian Sushi picking up the other two. That is a flawless round yet again for St. Clair College, and they're able to take a 6-2 lead. We might see a timeout soon out of Humber College. I believe they already used their timeout for the half, oh. so they are unfortunately out here. They are going to have to hopefully grab the next four rounds if they want to tie up by the end of this half, but it looks like they might just fall short, and St. Clair College may take the lead for this first half. Yeah, they're looking very strong in this first half, and you know, they can't lose the half no matter what happens, but they definitely want to push the pace this round. They want to mm -hmm. win to take, to really break Humber College's bank rolls will be huge for them. Scrubby on that Cypher, 12 and 2, absolutely amazing performance for him in this second mm -hmm. game. Really wanting to get that revenge for losing that first map as Coma. He's gonna have to look for a big play here, does peak and gets shot down to 29 HP, but will be, make, be able to make it alive. But now St. Clair off the back of that, maybe look for a bit of something. Such a great angle here from Wester. Will be able to find one and will make it out alive. A. Just finding the perfect flank there and very well played from him. St. Clair kind of needs to do something. Nyx able to trade one for one with Chill in there. Coma does go down. St. Clair now losing their raise. It's going to be that much harder to push into the site. I think going on to A was their best bet, but they might Shadows try and rotate over towards the B site. Yep, and now pushing into mid, a part of the map that they kind of gave up on this round, and it's so far bitten them. As you can see, Gwester was able to push up and get some angles, but Chillin's going to be able to take him out. 21 HP, though, on Chillin. Not too good when you got to try to rotate across the map and push through two defenders who are waiting in every angle here. Now as they push in through library, they're going to be able, or sorry, through a breakfast, Maka going to be able to catch Grubby off guard, or Scrubby off guard. And now Sushi is going to be able to bait the plant remaining. out, but Foxile waiting Spike in B main B. takes out Foxile, finding the last one onto Chillin. And now they start to make a little bit of a comeback here, closing the gap. Even with Chilling finding three kills, Humber Call is just able to take that one out. Just at the right spots at the right time, we're able to find the enemies with their backs turned turn toward them and a great round from them there. Only behind by three rounds, Humber College here trying to close the gap here in the, sec in the second map, but St. Clair College have been pushing the advantage. Chilling also having now a great game on that mm -hmm. omen. 
12 and 11 kills for the top two fraggers of the Saints. Definitely feeling good, but let's see what they decide to do here. They're gonna go up mid and B, it looks like, but from what we've seen so far, I'm not expecting a push onto a site too quickly. Right, they know they need to slow it down. They've gotten that mid control. Jello gonna be able to find the first pick to start it off onto Wester. Huge pick there. Taking out a team leader. Canadian gonna come out with the showstopper. Try to find a pick here. Gonna fire into the corner. Nothing there quite yet. He throws the paint shells to try and slow them down. We're gonna see the gecko out. Ult come out with Jello. It's gonna be shot down though before they can find any um, detainment onto Coma there. Coma just peeking in through the door, waiting for one of the Saints to beat, but nothing's gonna happen. Mac is sending out the Aftershock. Gonna look for something as Canadian finds the pick on Nakoma. Doing a great job with the aim there. Looks like, yep, and here comes the Bre Breach ult. He gets one, he's gonna find one after concussing them. Nick's able to find another, but Canadian going crazy with his third kill there. And now a 1v3 situation for, for Cypher. Fox style though, gonna have to fight off three Saints here, but he is out of time and he is going to save his Vandal. Great rounder from St. Clair College, able to find the right kills at the right time. Mm -hmm. Get that spike down and they're so good in that post plant. They have been the entire half here and taking that 7-3 lead. Two more rounds left in this half. Humber are forced into a save by since they have no money and this, mm -hmm. no matter what, will be a very, very good half for St. Clair College, but if they can get these final two rounds to close it out, would put them in a prime position to take this map too. A hundred percent. They have now definitely taken the lead from this half, as you said, and need to just keep doing what they've been doing all through the rest of this attacking. So finding that mid control is gonna be super important because here comes Gwester now, kind of pushing up, slowly wanting to stick their nose out, try to find a couple picks here. And now we see Raze and Gecko for the side of the Saints, slowly starting to take back this middle area trying to find anything that they can, any few picks, any good control, but it looks like we've got a little bit of a hide box style who does find the trade there Spike on down. to chill and he's gonna be able to shoot out that blind real quick, but I know not exactly quite good enough as Jello is able to find the pick there and give St. Clair College the main advantage. I throw up the spike. And Nyx will find Jello on the entry there, but the Cypher ult will be able to spot out everybody. Nyx on low HP. The Ghost will get taken down as soon as finding two as well. Very, very quick round for St. Clair College. And a dominant one at that, getting an 8 3 Last lead. Round Last the round of the half. It's going to be full buys coming out from everyone who can afford it. Gwester won't be able to buy the full shield as alongside Fox style. Oh, Fox style will try decide to go for the Guardian with the full shield. Mm -hmm. So, interesting pick up there. But last round of the half, St. Clair. Probably going to play a bit of a slower paced round as usual. Try and find a mistake on the side of Humber College with, which they can capitalize upon and then make their way onto the bomb site. Absolutely. And, you know, coming in here, you know, 9-3, they talk about the curse too much. Haven't quite seen it happen yet, but St. Clair College going to take into account that a huge six point lead could be vital for them going into defense. And as they push in, Wester gonna find two there on a Jello and Canadian, be able to throw out the blind and get himself away into safety. Sushi able to find the trade though on the Gwester with Scrubby also finding two there on Maka and Koma and flipping the man advantage as Chillin is able to put the spike down on B and give them good control. And now as we see, all that's left is Omen ult for the side of St. Clair College. Nick's able to find Scrubby though, even out the odds. Here comes the showstopper from Nyx. He's gonna have to look for someone quickly before time runs out. Both of them sitting in B main, just waiting for the defuse sound that comes out. Here comes the paint shells. Oh, good one way there by set up by Humber College as they are gonna wanna try to find this defuse soon. Chillin' gonna find one, looking for number two. Foxstyle finds one on a sushi and oh, finds the goodness. second onto Chillin' with enough good. time to defuse the spike. Great round by Humber, but St. Clair College still gonna end, exit cool. this half up eight to four. Very, very good spot to be up four rounds and only five away from a win. Switching that was sides. a great clutch there from Fox style, able to find the two shots there and putting his team maybe in a way better spot than 3 9 8 4 it is. But let's see how Humber College decide to attack this one. Will they be decide to be as slow and methodical as the Saints or will they do a more aggressive push? I think they're gonna play the sim similar style to what they did last game, mm -hmm. try to take their time and 
play off an advantage that they find. But, you know, St. Clair have been looking way better in the second map of 8-4, obviously. Way better on the scoreboards as well. So, a good, good first half for them. Humber College going to look to come back here, but St. Clair are going to look to stop them in their tracks. I agree. I think a slow push is going to be the way here. They are going to take this mid control the way Saints did, and it can be very, very crucial, as I've said before. But it looks like a five-man mid push, which is quite interesting. It looks like they might be leading off to go into B, which is quite open. You've got Chillin, or uh, you've got Scrubby there, and I believe that is uh, Sushi on the Viper there. Though quick trade as Nyx finds two on both of b sites defenders, and now they have the sites themselves for the plant. Yeah, that's a great shot there coming out from the rays of Humber College, playing so, so well this map, trying Spike to keep planted. them in it. There's gonna be a flash coming out onto Jello before we three advantage for Humber College. Let's see if Jell can find anything on this push. All members from the Saints are here, but that's a great flash coming out from the Omen. Now is the time they want to go, but they can't seem to find the advantage. Half HP on that Gecko, gonna heal up just a little bit. Brimstone half HP, one HP on the Spade. Raise and Cypher for HP, Maka and Canadian. Gonna be able to trade standing. out there, but Nyx has been going absolutely crazy in this round. And this might be the fist, first pistol round that the Saints lose. Canadian can't find the shots there. And yes, there it is. Humber College picking up their first pistol round of the series and making this map mm -hmm. a 5-8 map. Absolutely. Well, well played by Humber. We have seen that their attacking side can be very, very deadly. And they played that with perfection, taking that mid control right from the get-go and being able to push on to B with ease, taking out both defenders and giving them the whole site to themselves. And it looks like they're going to recreate that same strat as long as the Saints keep letting it happen. Without a doubt, they're going to look to go up mid yet again. And having the wep weapons advantage, St. Clair College are not in a great spot to contest many of these challenges. So they will choose to maybe push up a little bit. You can see that Omen Canadian playing very, very aggressive, able to find an opening pick there. A great start for St. Clair on this defense, but Omen and the Rays are both a bit low on HP. So let's see how Humber decides to play this one. They have a Rays going up mid alongside the Cypher and the other two members are just hanging out around A as it's gonna be Nyx looking for the shots up mid, but can't find too much. Fox is gonna come here to help him out. But I don't think any of the Saints want to peek this middle because they know that there's a couple Vandals looking straight at their heads. Nyx, speaking of heads, able to find Sushi's there, takes him down, and that's going to prompt the push towards b side for the side of Humber College. They're going to be able to get onto the side. The plant is going down, and it should be there. 4 before situation. Still very winnable for the side of St. Clair, but Humber on the premium premium position to win this round. Absolutely. Canadian here with 22 HP. Going to look to push in, but he's going to get challenged here real quick. But Jello coming in with the blind. Finds one perfect blind as it gets Maka and Foxile out of here. Now in a 2v4 situation, chilling. And the rest of the Saints going to look to push on and start the defuse here. Nyx and Coma finding one. Nyx finding his third on the round with the paint shells in a 1v1 situation. St. Clair College, you see Scrubby with zero health and it's not going to help him out as Nyx finds his fourth on the round and takes these first two pistol rounds for the side of Humber. Great play there from Nyx, doing absolutely everything for Humber College to bring this one back. I'm surprised the Saints didn't pick up a couple extra weapons there. Kind of three of them were just sitting there with pistols shooting at Nyx, but... A great play from Nyx to say the least. He's been putting the team on his back on this map and 60 and 11 on that race, just making all the right plays happen. But now this is the round that the Saints need. Three Sheriffs, a Classic and a Vandal on the side of Humber. Not the best buys you've ever seen. St. Clair College though, have everything you could ever want. Let's see how aggressive they decide to play. Nyx, always oh, not gonna be able to find the shots on the Canadian there. That could have been a pick for either race, but they're just starting to play this one very, very quickly as they know that they don't have the, the, the gun advantage. They're gonna try and use the man advantage to their favor. Now as Humber pushes in, Mac is gonna find that first pick on a Canadian. Incredible accuracy with the Sheriff there as he will find the head of, I believe that was uh, Canadian there, yes, on the raise. And now they have a little bit of a 
room to push up, but Jello going to throw that blind in, give make some space for himself and try to find a couple picks here onto Humber as he pushes around. He's going to peek this corner haphazardly. And here we go. Chillin finds one there, quickly traded out. Jello finds another pick on Nakoma. Second one on to Wester. And now, ooh, a 2v2 situation as Maka finds the trade on Jello. Fox Styles finding Scrubby. Now 1v2 for uh, uh, for Su or Jello or Sushi, sorry, Sushi, as he is in a tough situation, but he does have an HP advantage over the breach. Left. Just gonna have to struggle here, might opt for a save. No, he's guessing that they're going towards that B site, and uh, he guessed wrong. Yeah. <laughs> for, for just in case you're wondering, he guessed very, very wrong. The plant's gonna go down on A, and he's gonna be able to hear that one and make his way over in the 1v2 situation. And a very, very important round here for the Saints. If they drop this one, I think we're going to see a timeout, to say the least. Yep. As Humber has started off the second half of this map on absolute fire. Sushi is going to find one player. He's going to shoot out that thing. It's going to do a little bit of damage breach on the one HP. He's going to be able to make it out alive, and that is crucial. Just having that one-shot potential at any point is very, very important. But we could see the Cypher is kind of just sitting around the corner. There's going to be... The defuse coming up from Sushi, and he might not even be faking this one. He's able to find one, but won't be able to find a second Maka. Finding the trade, a very nice try there from Sushi, but just like that, Humber College make this a 7-8 game. Sinclair has to save up here, and you know, it's, if this round goes as according to plan, Humber College will have an 8-8 game on their hands. Absolutely, they've showed that they dominate on the offensive side, and Surprised to see Sinclair College not call a timeout just yet. Pro might save it for when they start to really get rolled over in the next couple rounds because seeing as they do have the weapon disadvantage here, they're not going to want to try to waste the one timeout they have for this half on a, s on a round where they most predictably may lose here. It would be better spent once they have some ults ready, but here we go, Canadian going to pull out the Showstopper. Try to find a pick, he might just shoot it into thin air, but That's he's up. not going to quite find anything and doesn't even get a chance to take a shot with it. Made a little bit of space, scaring him off, but gave him B site completely as Coleman's going to be able to put the plant down and give Humber enough time to get off site and get ready to defend. Not a good start for St. Clair there. The spike is going to go down. Maka finds the opening pick onto Chill, and then this one is looking a bit rough. There's going to be the point coming down from Jello. Able to find too much of it there. Koma finds another one onto Sushi as Nyx takes down Jello Fox style and Nyx cleaning up. And that is a flawless round for Humboldt College, making it an 8 8 game and winning four rounds in a row. If St. Clair College doesn't call a timeout this round, I don't know when they will. Now would be the best time than ever since you are very, very close to giving up the lead, especially when you have a team like Humber College who has shown that they're just dominating force on offense time and time again. They might run the same tired strap, but it only because it just keeps working. There's nothing St. Clair College can quite do to slow them down right now. Yeah, I agree. St. Clair College just having a bit of a rough time on this defense. And Humber College just last map were able to show how good they are offensively doing it again this map. Are able to tie up at 8-8 eight, eight. and if Humber College take this map they are going to be taking series 2 also St. Clair College definitely going to look to bounce back mm -hmm. here and bring this to a map 3 but it's going to be a way slower push now for Humber College they're not going to go as quick and let's see Chillin's going to throw out the smoke here he's able to stay alive very very good for him Sushi takes down the bot as it's a great camera from Scrubby as well looking over everything as Humber haven't be able, been able to find a push there, but no picks from either side coming out just yet. Mm -hmm. And now Canadian just waiting peacefully for them to push up, up here, and here comes his chance. He's gonna fade the blind and chillin' finding Five two. Canadian finding eight. two for himself, One and this is a great remaining. way for St. Clair College to retake the lead here as they make it a 1v5 for Fox Style, who might have a tough time here, even though with all the skill that he does hold. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, Humber taking a little bit too much time and just getting 2 v four by the Omen and Ray. So, great round here from St. Clair. Yes, Fox style is alive in a 1v5, but he doesn't have the spike. Oh, Canadian yeah. getting his third pick of the round and back-to-back -back losses. This time, St. Clair College are coming out on top. 
Uh, economically, I don't think it's the biggest deal as both teams should be able to have mm -hmm. a full buy, and they do. If St. Clair lost that one, they would have been down and in the mud, but they were able to bring this one back, and for the next few rounds, both teams should have good weaponry on their hands. Coming down to the wire here, it's going to be a very, very close second map, and let's see mm -hmm. what is going to go down. Alts on both sides of the map here. We do see St. Clair College is going to have the Omen and the Gecko alt, whereas Humber has the Fade, the Cypher, and the Breach alt, all of which are great for getting on to site and also getting great intel. And they're going to have B-Site nearly to themselves here as Sushi kind of playing a little off site. Here comes the Fade ult to try and get a little bit of intel. I don't believe it hits anybody, but it is a good way of clearing up the site. Fade Eye going to come out from Coma and now they are going to be able to get the plant down and force St. Clair College for the retake. Raise the plant comes down very, very early. Sushi will go down to Foxtel in that breach. He'll mm -hmm. 5v4 situation. Cypher's on 1 HP for St. Clair as well. But Canadian is able to take out Foxtel with that headshot. It's a great pick to start the retake. Canadian on fire here, finding two, finding three. Great shot onto Gwester there as well. He's going to find a fourth with his ultimate. Looking for the ace here. Do they know where Maka is? Canadian's going to look for it. He's going to get taken down. Maka in the 1v3 now will get taken down. And Canadian single handling giving this round to St. Clair College will put Humber in a bit of a difficult scenario now as I don't know if they'll have enough money to buy out for every single member. They have a good amount, so maybe they will be able to, but such a great round there coming out from Canadian, finding four picks, getting that result, getting a pick with it as well instantly, absolutely carrying that round and will force out a timeout coming out from Humber College. Mm -hmm. And now using their last time out yeah. is a great time as St. Clair College is so close to taking the second map. And if Humber wants to close out this series, they're going to have to find some way to get back onto the offensive horse here. They had a great first four rounds to start, but now they're slowly losing the momentum. And Canadian could be very deadly with this operator in his hands, but it's going to be losing a lot of money if doesn't if the gamble doesn't quite pay off. Without a doubt, it's going to be a full buy coming out from Humber, and this might be their last shot at it. If they drop this one, St. Clair College could just run away with it and mm -hmm. take the map, but this is going to be a cruel surround. I wonder what Humber will do if they choose to still play that slow and methodical game, or if they just want to get onto site. That round, they quickly got onto the site. They got the plant down. They had the pick, but Canadian just single-handedly brought it back. So a great round from St. Clair College, able to win it out. But Humber getting onto that side has to be a little bit concerning for St. Clair College because you can't expect four kills out of your raise every single time. So you'll mm -hmm. take it once, but I wonder what we're going to see in this next round. Couldn't agree more. Angelo setting up here with the blind. Going to try to spot out anybody, but nobody there. And a big part of this game has been the one-way set up by both Omens. But we see Humber going for a big B push here. Here come all the util dump. Scrubby going to be able to take out Gwester, though, and get that spike down. Coma, though, going to be able to find the trade. And now they are going to be able to find, get onto site and get this plant down. St. Clair College evened out here 4v4, but in a little bit of a tough exactly spot for this retake as Humber College going to use the Cypher all to get the intel on where the rest of the Saints are. Jello going to be able to push up here, but he is spotted out by that Cypher ult. He's going to have to be careful as the Raze is just hiding in the middle there, waiting. And now as they play in B main, St. Clair College pushing up. They are, have retaken sight, but they are going to have to struggle as Chillin finds one on a coma there. Big pick. Fox style, though, able to find Sushi. Not quite quick enough to find Jello, though, as he does get a pick on him. Jello with number two and number three to finish off this round. Great job by St. Clair College. Incredible retake and great job for Jello to find a three piece there at the end to close it out and have enough time for a defuse. It's a huge round for St. Clair and a huge round from Jello on the retake, finding three shots there. Very, very important and will give St. Clair an 11 8 lead. No more timeouts for Humber College as well, so they'll be saving up this round and giving it, it all they got in the next round. This round is also very, very important. St. Clair College definitely want to put themselves on map point here. And if they are able to take this one down, we will be going to a map three. So a very exciting series so far. And I think it's far from being over as St. Clair are looking very, very good in the second map. Uh, Humber 
now pushing up mid once again, taking that control. Got to be careful of Canadian with the operator here, though. He's going to find the first pick and get Gwester out of here. And there goes Spike as well. Got to be careful, though, now that they know the ops on the field. They're not going to want to take any risky peeks again, but they got to get this Spike out of here. So Canadian backed up, going to wait for anybody to push in. This could be a good opportunity for Humber to take A as almost everyone is evacuated except for Chillin. Or sorry, except for Sushi. Yeah, it's a great start for St. Clair. Getting that pick with the operator at the beginning of the round just sets you up for success. Canadian looking directly at the Cypher through the wall. Won't shoot it because doesn't know where he actually is. Now it's going to be a A push wow, coming up from Humber College, but they are all stuck here with no guns. Chillin' all in his lonesome, alongside his Viper actually, are here ready to shoot the enemies as soon as they show up. But... Humber College playing this one super slow. They're gonna decide to push through Viper Sue. She's gonna find one, she's gonna find the second. Foxtail does take down Canadian up in mid. That is an operator that they do have to recover, but we're gonna see Foxtail get shot in the back in just a Last second by Scrubby. Standing. There it is. It's all up to Nyx with 15 seconds, and I think if he can find a gun and save it for himself, wouldn't be the worst idea. As he finds Scrubby, that is the operator down, but Jello will take him out, and that will be map point for St. Clair College. The operator did get picked up again, Match so St. Clair will have that to their disposal. Mm -hmm. And on map point, it's looking like an A push coming up from Humber College. This is very good for St. Clair College here. They are gonna be able to push this series, hopefully into a tie here, unless Humber is able to find yes. something to get themselves back in. They have dropped four rounds in a row right after there. winning four. They really need to find their momentum, find a step in the door and try to stop the Saint squad. They have been able to fully buy here and they've got one ult on the board, or sorry, two ults on the board ready here. But they've already been spotted out and given away here. And Koma and Nyx now starting to push up into elbow. Gonna clear out those corners and give them enough room here. But as the Viper wall goes up, it's gonna make it real tough to push through. Yeah, and Humber are all in onto this A push, but this Viper wall just doing God's work from Sushi. But the flash will go out, the result will go out. Nyx able to find Jello there. They are all full flash, but a great opening pick for the side of Humber College. Let's see how they decide to, de they decide to capitalize on this. Sushi does have his ultimate here on the Viper, but won't be able to use it. We'll find one, but Fox and Gwester finding a pick of their own. Fox and finding one more, it's all up to Canadian with this operator. I will, I believe he will try to save this one as this round has not gone well for St. Clair College. I couldn't agree more. Saving this operator would be very, very crucial, especially since you don't want to take the risk of one of them having it in their hands. Might be a good save here, but you know he's going to actually switch up to the Vandal here, leave the operator behind, possibly do a retake here. If he can find four kills, it'd be absolutely incredible, especially now that he's pushed up. Smoke's going to go down. It's going to stop from getting in, but he's going to be meeting up with the Breach soon. Shots exchanged here. Breach now knowing where he is, not going to let him go, but time's ticking away. He has run out of time. He's actually not even going to make it back to the Operator as Nyx finds him. And we'll see if... N I don't believe Nyx picked up the Operator there. So that is one up down. And Saints will not be able to rebuy that, but Humber able to grab another round and keep themselves in this match for one round longer. If you look at the buys of St. Clair, Scrubby can't really afford a full buy, so he'll ask Chillin for a bit of a loan, mm -hmm. but that puts Chillin to 50 credits, so this round is going to be a very important one. If St. Clair can take it, they will close out the map. Humber College, if they can take this one, could make this a very, very interesting one to say the least. It's going to be a default push, it looks like, coming up from Humber College. St. Clair have oh three members God. on A, two members on B. See how they decide to play it. Another slow start to the round, as usual, as Canadian gets a free ultimate orb for himself. But it looks like Humber College are kind of rotating over towards that B site. They're going through mid here as well, as Gwester's going to decide that he is going to make his way over to B. They still have that Omen ultimate at any time, just in case they really do get into trouble. As Nyx is going to look for a shot here onto Scrubby. Here comes the 1v1. Won't be able to find the enemy there. Uh, the spike is still down mid, so Humber haven't really committed to anything. Jello 
gonna see that breach stun come coming through, now. but that won't be too much. That's gonna be a full on A push, it looks like, from the side of a Humber. They have a couple members there, but Canadian able to slow that one down spike so, down so, so quickly. A. Gets a quick pick, but you can the see spike. the rest of Humber are still rotating over here, so they're kind of committed towards this A push with only 40 seconds left in the round. Let's see how they decide to do it. They get the spike over to their breach as all four members are coming out of this one tiny area. Canadian, can, he can just throw one paint shell, could be massive, but he does instantly go seconds. down to I Nick. There's a trade back from Chillin' though, is able to find two headshots there. 4v2 situation for the side of the Saints here now. The Gecko will not find too much there. Jello just throwing out a lot of Uto, kind of distracting them as Chillin' has found his third of the round. And Jello will find Fox style that will make it 1-1 in the series. St. Clair College taking the second map, 39. Much better performance out of St. Clair College. They are only letting Humber take one more round than they were given in the map before. So going into this third map, it is going to be all on the line here. Nothing left to lose. And St. Clair College now has that momentum and everything they need to go into the second map. They've studied their opponent enough. They kind of know how they're playing. And very close, close match. Um this map and you can see it on the scoreboard here that not a single player really let their team down too much they all had a part to contribute and we could see that Canadian on top there especially with Chillin both having 21 kills apiece doing the most here and much much better game from Canadian all around without a doubt great game overall from both teams a very very competitive one at that and 39 second map goes Sinclair first mm -hmm. map was 13 8 to Humber for anyone who does not remember and we're going to be going into the third and final map what do you think are little adjustments that St. Clair made that led them to being able to winning that second map well obviously you know they're definitely playing smarter in the second map uh, you could see that they definitely had more um, they or sorry they had better map control on sunset they were able to dominate that midsection and use it to their advantage more than one time and even when Humber tried to do the same St. Clair College knew what they had to do to shut them down and Canadian you know being a key part there finding those early picks with the operator whatever gun was in his hands doing a great job and I think that was especially a big thing between those two maps. I could not agree more but with all that being said, we are going to be going to a game three. We're going to throw it to a very, very short break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be back with map three right after this.
welcome back everybody to the third and final map of the series of the day it's St. Clair College taking on Humber College Humber College was able to take the first map 13-8 St. Clair College was able to bounce back in map 2 with a 13-9 victory of their own and it's all up to Lotus let take us into the champ select well as we can see St. Clair College gonna pick up the Viper Chillin's absolute classic agent there Scrubby's gonna hop onto that Killjoy instead of the Cypher this round. We are gonna see Sushi possibly be picking up the Omen here for those smokes. Canadian on that raise at three maps in a row. Don't fix what isn't broken and Jello on the sky. Another classic pick there is Jello is just incredible with those flashes. And as we take a look at the other side, we're going to see Fox Style going over to the KJ Nix on the raise once again for the third map. Koma on that fade again. Guest are going to go for the Omen. And Maka also taking a breach. So it seems like they're going to adopt a lot of those second map picks into this third one. All of which still very, very good picks. But now it comes down to everyone's pure skill. No one is leaving anything up to chance here. All the standard picks are coming out. And this is where it all comes down to. Map 3. Very, very close series so far as well. Not like uh, there have been any blowouts or anything like that. And uh, very, very even team comps. No four duelists. None of that stuff this time around. So let's see how we get off to the St. Clair College. Are on the attack early. And it's Humber College on the defense early. Let's see what we're up to. It looks like St. Clair College are looking for a push towards a site as we have a little bit of a frozen screen, but we are back. Do not fear as it's going to be a slow push coming out here from St. Clair College. They're choosing to go more of the A, B site, but on this map, you could go from A site to C site in a mm -hmm. matter of no time. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see how the Saints choose to attack this one. Yeah, we are going to see Spike slowly make its way towards B as we do see um, both Scrubby and, or not Gwester, sorry, uh, Scrubby and Jello or Sushi pushing up onto B site, only defended by Gwester here. Blind's going to go out slowing them down, but I don't believe he knows that he actually got anybody, but so far a bit of a slow push as Saints now break into that side room. Gonna open up a little bit more here. Wester and Nyx finding some remaining. picks. Quest with his third though. Scrubby able to trade off there. And now a 1v3 situation for Scrubby. He's gonna have to get the spike, the spike there and hopefully retreat and find another site to plant at. He's gonna find a pick onto Fox Style there. Doing a great job finding a third of his own, but Koma holding down that nest area and Breach coming left. off the side. It's gonna close down that A. Bit of a tough, tough, tough scene here for Scrub. The hardest part is the fact that he's at 16 HP, but the a good part is that he should be able to get this spike down as the two members from Humber College are sitting all the way on B side. Let's see if that Fade decides to move over towards the C Ten side right left. now. She will, looks like she will decide to do so and the plant mm -hmm. will go down. Humber just need to play together. Need to make sure they don't take 1v1 trades, but Scrubby on this Killjoy has to go absolutely crazy to maybe pick this round up on 16 HP. Wasn't a 1v3 scenario, now it's just 1v2. A great angle there, but is not able to find the headshot. And now this is a bit of a rough spot to be in. The defuse is coming through. He has to push. Scrubby's gonna look for the shot here. Won't find it. Max Maka will take him down and Humber College winning a rare pistol round here in this series. Puts themselves on track and looking well in this third map. Nick's doing a great job there with the three piece. So did Scrubby, both of them firing on all cylinders. And now we're gonna see Humber force the buy here, grab those specters, grab a bulldog and a vandal. St. Clair College gonna just pick up two sheriffs here, try and continue through and save. So it'll be interesting to see how the next couple of rounds go. Humber has to be careful that they don't make any silly mistakes and give up those guns because it could be the death of them for St. Clair College if they are able to grab the second round. Without a doubt, and it's going to be a quick push, it looks like. Coming out from St. Clair College onto the C site, but they're not going to decide to go and full 
full pedal to the metal down. They're gonna make their way back over. Let's see. They make their way up towards this B side. Now they're gonna move all of their members over towards that A side. Is chilling. He's just moving up and down. He's gonna look for a shot here. Will be able to find one. If he found Nyx, there would have been a great open, but still a great open as Koma is taken down. 1-4-1 one, one, very, very early on, but St. Clair College That's still has to make up a lot of room. Nyx going up on top of this box, a great spot here, looking over absolutely everything. Dodges the paint shells because of it. A scrubby, though, finds a pick onto Foxy Styles, and the spike will be able to be planted. Let's see how St. Clair decide to play the postman without the gun advantages. Canadian with the sheriff, able to do so much, able to find a pick, trades out Gwester there. Now it's a 2v3 for a side of Humber College. They're gonna push through, they're able to find one. A scrubby finds yet another one with that sheriff, and and now it's a 1v2 for Nyx. He's been the superstar for Humber College, but can he clutch this one? Now will you find both there as they line up for him. And Humber College, when they need it most, Nyx is able to find the clutch there, giving them the second round. That is a heartbreak one for St. Clair College, but so good if you're a fan of Humber College. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Nyx being a very key player here on the race so far. Seven and one to start this off. The showstopper is ready. Scrubby, however, does have the lockdown ready, and that is going to be very, very crucial for either pre-plant or post-plant situations as it'll make sure that sites get cleared off immediately. And this is looking to look, uh, beginning to look a lot like last game where Nyx <laughs> Just monster at the top of the leaderboard mm -hmm. has the raise ultimate and is the only one on his team with a gun in the third round because everyone else fell down. Mm -hmm. But should be a round that St. Clair are able to take. You could see how safe they are playing. You could see them sitting all the way back in spawn, not risking anything. But Humber College, considering they don't have any weapons. Uh, it's going to be a really hard round for them to hold on to. St. Clair just can get their way onto the seaside and get the plant down. Should be almost impossible for Humber to come back here. All their hopes are going to be lying on Nyx here, who has that Vandal, who has that Raze Ultimate. We'll have mm -hmm. to make a huge play here if they want to take this round. But St. Clair are taking their time and letting everyone else rotate over. Maybe St. Clair choose to back up and go all the way to A side since they have the Viper Wall there. Well, you've said it before and I'll say it again. St. Clair Academy likes to play slow here when they have that gun advantage and they know they do based on looking at the eco values of the rest of Humber College, but they can't wait too long forever. It looks like they are gonna have to commit to the C site here as the clock slowly ticks down, but Humber College has had plenty of time here to regather. Util going out, Coma gonna throw out the C, it's not gonna find anything as Scrubby left. finds that pick onto Coma there. Meaning gonna run through and find another one. Mac one gonna be able to trade. Remaining. However, this side, this round is going to go to St. Clair College as it is going to leave Nyx in a 1v4 situation, possibly wanting to save this Spike Vandal. Planted. And Nyx that whole time thought that St. Clair College would rotate back over to A, decide mm -hmm. to stick there. He was the only win con for Humber College and he just wasn't at the right spot at the right time. St. Clair College should be able to clean him up here in the 4v1 as taking over this site is nearly impossible all on your lonesome. Let's see where the rage is inside of that smoke. There come the pain shells. Nyx only has 25 bullets left. Not too much to his name, to say the least, but he's not able to find any shots through the smoke. Canadian will walk through and pick him up for his third kill of the round, and a great round for St. Clair at that. They're able to bring themselves back into the game, but now is going to be the crucial one. Full buys coming up from both teams. As you said, Scrubby does have that Killjoy ultimate, which could be, especially this early into the game, a very crucial ultimate. So I would like to see St. Clair go maybe either C or B side and pop down that Killjoy ultimate, get that plant down and take this second round. 100% and it looks like they might plan to do just that. Looks like Spike is gonna make its way up C long here, but they are gonna be met by Nyx, who's peeking out, getting aggressive on the C long and trying to take up some space, close down St. Clair College before they can even pass the barrier here. And Nick's gonna pull out the showstopper, take out Sushi, incredible pick, and now Spike is stuck in that corner and Humber College knows it. They know that St. Clair College is gonna have to cross here and if they can avoid all these flashes and all the util, they are gonna stop him, but Spike will get picked up by Jello. Scrubby able to find a pick onto Nyx there, incredible headshot, incredible accuracy as Gwester is not gonna peek out here, but now St. Clair College gonna run it up B, down the middle, hopefully able to get a plant down. Coma waiting in that nest area for them. If he can just hold that angle long enough and just 
be patient. Oh, as I say that, he walks away. <laughs> and now St. Clair College will have this B site mostly to themselves, but they got to be careful. Breach is going to push up this back way here, and he's going to also opt to go around spawn. Chillin' going to push in the side here, making some noise now. Humber knows where they are. The Breach is going to send the charge out. Jello's going to put the plant down. Mac awaiting the back, sends out the aftershock, and here we go. Scrubby going to pop down that lockdown, try to keep them off a little bit longer and delay them from getting to that spike. Canadian gonna find a pick on to question is Killjoy ultimate making so much space won't be able to find anyone but Canadian finding yet one another pick remains. chillin picking picking up Foxy style as well and this looks like, like another great round for the side of St. Clair College Poma is gonna try and make it alive but Canadian yet again able to find three kills and now the rays of St. Clair is putting them on his back with seven kills mm -hmm. six in back to uh, in these last two rounds really showing everyone how it's done now. Humper College are forced to save up as St. Clair College have regained their momentum and they are playing very, very well. Now at this time in the last map, Humber was calling a timeout and it looks like they're gonna opt to not call it right away here. Possibly waiting for maybe another round or two to go by to see if St. Clair College continues this momentum or if they might have gotten a little lucky, but Humber is going to be at a huge gun disadvantage, only buying sheriffs and a few shields to keep them alive here. So they are going to have to play smarter, not harder, as Nyx gets behind the very, very standard hot corner behind that box. But Sinclair College, once again, going to play very, very slow here, try to find those first picks, and there it is. Scrubby's going to find Nyx taking out their top frag. Very, very big pick there. And Foxstyle getting blinded and going to be taken out by Jello as Scrubby finds a second there on the Gwester. And now St. Clair has free reign to choose whatever site they want without any contestion. Yeah, yeah, and it's looking like that site is going to be A site. No defense here coming out from Humber College, so they can just walk through and plant this one down. Should be basically a confirmed round for them as Humber College are just looking for scraps, but scraps is all they're gonna find plant still not going down for some reason for st Clair college i don't know why they're playing so so hesitant there's gonna be the plant coming down from jello very very well done and let's see how they're gonna decide to deal with these last two players the headshot will come through right on point and at the exact same time a flawless round for st Clair college giving them a 3-2 lead in this deciding game three and we're gonna be going into a timeout Yep, perfect timing. As we said, you know, they've lost the momentum now. St. Clair College has picked up three rounds in a row and just done so incredible. And you can see that they are buying all the way up. They don't have to worry about economy whatsoever. Each of them well over the amount to buy two vandals each should they choose. And if they really wanted to get crazy, they could all buy an operator for themselves <laughs> without having to worry. But obviously playing a little smart here. But we take a look. Scrubby firing on all cylinders once again this game. Him and Canadian leading the team with nine and eight kills respectively. And when we look at the other side at Humber, we do have Nyx still keeping up that kill count at eight. But unfortunately doesn't have quite any of this other team really backing him up here. Yeah, Nyx is single-handedly putting his team on his back. He has eight kills, the rest of his team have four kills combined. So a bit of a rough start for the rest of the Humber College players, but Nyx has been playing absolutely amazing this entire time. But as you said, Scrubby and Canadian, really, they want to win this map bad. Mm. They're, they're playing as well as they could as well, nine and eight kills respectively. Very, very uh, interesting start to the first uh, to the to the first half of this mm -hmm. last map. Humber College getting off to that hot start, but St. Clair able to bounce back when needed most. 100%. After that first map, they took it personal, and they are not going to let these rounds fly, but we're going to see a couple big picks come out here. Nick's going to be able to take out Canadian after losing Coma in that first engagement. It's a very big pick there for Nick's side as he does continue his killing streak here. He's going to start to peek out, take a couple shots, see if he can find anything in the dark. He's going to get a couple shots on, on taking out some damage there from both Chillin' and Sushi, though. They will be able to stay alive and get heals from the sky. But now they are going to look to play a little bit slower and take this A approach a little bit more methodically. 
I think we're gonna see I've maybe the sky child. ult coming out and there it is able to spot out a few members they know a couple members now are Cover on top of that a site they're gonna choose to go into b site very very quickly sushi should get that plant down right here will fake it actually maybe they're looking to make their way all over to a fastel just caught in the middle of nothing and yes st Clair able to take a site so so easily or c site i apologize the plant will be going down and that is a spike planted 4v3 situation for St. Clair and this should be a very very good round for them. Very interesting spot to plant here. Not quite any angles from along so they are going to have to play close to site if they want to have a good defense on this. All of Humber pushing in from this back site though could be a problem if St. Clair College doesn't play it carefully here. Nick's going to bounce in and get some intel but Sushi and Scrubby finding a kill each. Scrubby with two there and they will take yet another round and extend their lead to two. Very, very well done by there by St. Clair. Able to take the very pivotal round there. Now, the side of Humber College are kind of in a bit of trouble. They can't really pick up a round and they're gonna have to save this one, I believe. They don't have any real funds to really fight back against the Saints this round. So this should be another locked round for St. Clair. Mm -hmm. And if they're able to take that 5-2 lead, and snowball a few more rounds could be a great first half for them. 100% Canadian with the showstopper online and Omen as well online as well. Good chance to get some very, very easy picks here and good intel as well. And Omen holding on to that spike too. That teleport could be used to the max as there are three sites that the defenders would have to guess where he's teleporting to instead of two. Absolutely, the three site the maps favor the attackers just a little bit mm -hmm. more because just more options and if you can really get numbers advantage would be nice but scrubby speaking of getting a man advantage gets two there to start off the round st Clair should be cruising through this route at this point canadian's gonna throw out the boom but it's gonna spo uh, spot out fox style here great shot there onto sushi and great shot there onto canadian fox style just turning it up a little bit here when needed most any more picks here? Oh my goodness, Foxtile with the third. Jello will finally shut his spree down, but giving a little bit of hope towards Humble College. Humber College is Foxtile there with the Sheriff. Still, the gun advantage is in St. Clair's favor. Nick's going to choose to play this one very, very, very passive. And do they have any idea that he could be sitting in this corner? Scrubby, please check it. He, I don't know if he's going to check it. It's a great shot from Nick's. The plant from Jello will start off but won't be taken down and now 1v2 situation jello has to get the plant down coma getting a little bit too aggressive there maybe and he knows exactly where left. this raise is oh my goodness five seconds left we'll have to get that plant down four seconds three seconds two seconds the plant will get planted down it's a one-on-one -on -one jello against nick dangerous shots there Dangerous challenge there from Nyx, and he will be taken down. Jello able to get the clutch there, give St. Clair a 5 to lead. But Humber College, man, that killjoy really scared yeah. us for a couple of seconds. Great short shots from Fox style, getting their mm -hmm. first three kills this, this game in that round. Almost won it back for Humber, but they misplayed the 1v2 situation yeah. a little bit with Coma and Nyx there. Should have used their man advantage a little bit better, mm -hmm. but Scrubby. Angelo and Canadian, the whole roster just playing perfectly so far, getting the 5 0 lead. But I want to point out Scrubby 13 and 3 on that Killjoy, mm -hmm. setting up the picks early for that round. Yep, and now two points away from yet another ultimate, and that's just within a few rounds of each other. So just going crazy here. Canadian's actually going to bait out the alt point a little bit, but nobody's going to be biting as nobody's really there and ready. They're going to take the door over to B and Omen's going to be able to narrowly escape danger there, just getting sting, stung a little bit by one of those vandals on his way out. Yeah, able to stay alive, which is important for the Omen as Humber should be on a full by here. Canadian's going to fly in with his ultimate. It'll pick up Foxy style very, very early. That means all those Killjoy Util is now 
useless. The plant should be going down to Scrubby, yet again able to find a pick on that B site. Just anchoring absolutely amazingly this game so far. Chilling, getting the plant down in a 4v3 situation Fight for the planted. Saints. This should be a pretty easy hold for them unless we see some miracle come out from Humber College. Coma is going to decide to use the Prowler there and the ultimate is going to come out from him as well. This is the chance for Humber College to get something done, but Coma will be blinded there. It's chilling. We'll be able to find the pick there. Peeking two people there. Dangerous chance. Matka is going to choose to go for the stun here. Won't find too much. Asushi and Jello picking up Nix and Matka for the team ace there, giving St. Clair College a 6 to lead in the final map. Mm -hmm. And now they cannot do no wrong here as they cannot lose the lead going into the second half. And all they need is one more round to give them a great advantage going into the second half. But they still have four more rounds on this attacking side so they can really put a very, very large gap in between them and Humber if they keep playing the way they have, which it seems like consistency has definitely picked up for the side of St. Clair. And it's gonna be something that they're gonna do great with these next couple rounds. It's gonna be a full on 5v5 from Humber College and St. Clair on the CSM, getting a bit of flashbacks from the match we saw earlier today, mm -hmm. where both teams just decide to battle it all out. But let's see how this one goes. Canadian finding one, finding two, finding three, Jello finding one as well. And it's gonna be a four for all for the side of St. Clair College. Humber College really tried something without the weapons there. I don't hate the play, but it's all up to Gwester now on the flank. I think he's gonna pop this door open and meet his demise. Let's see how this ends up going. The door will get opened up with the stinger, but Canadian finding the fourth kill of the round for himself there. Kind of just eliminating all of Humber College and giving St. Clair a 7-2 lead. And a flawless round is, is a huge, huge momentum booster for any team, Go especially St. Clair College. Now that they know they've really found Humber's, you know, strats, they've figured them out, they know what they got to do here, and it looks like they're going to replicate that previous round by going for a five-man push here on the C, apart from maybe Scrubby setting up some stuff to make sure that that flank gets watched, especially with Wester being a sneaky little omen trying to get up into the B site. Absolutely, and it's going to be a C push here. Coming up from Humber, St. Clair don't really have too much. Oh, sorry, St. Clair on the attack are going to be pushing the C side as Humber College doesn't really have too much on the defense here. They destroy the Killjoy, Utah, and they should be able to get to the site pretty quickly, but Foxy Style has that Killjoy ultimate ready. If he uses that in that corner, maybe the Rays will be able to stop that one down. They will just uh, stop the plant as Nyx gets a pick there, and that's ultimate for ultimate, but a pick at the end of the day for Humber as Gwester picks up Scrubby. 5v3 situation now for the side of Humber College. Very, very great start to the round for them. But let's see, the spike has made its way over towards that B-side, chilling. Still chilling in his Viper ultimate here. <clears throat> has nowhere to rush, really. If he just decided to shoot, he would maybe get a kill here as they might start pushing the Viper ult. They're getting a bit impatient. Let's see if Chillin can pop out at the right time. Doesn't get spotted out by that one as the pick there. Reach can take it out. Chillin finding two. Is he able to stay alive? Gets in his ultimate. Finds the third. No, Jello's gonna steal that one from him. But the plant does go down for St. Clair. A huge turnaround to this round from Chillin. Just these individual plays are really doing them justice as Gwester's on the flank in the 1v2. Won't find the kill. There's the kill choice ult. Is coming down as well from the defenders. Gonna be all up to Foxy Style to go crazy here. Will he be able to find any picks here? There is gonna be one person detained. Is Fox Style gonna be able to find them? They're inside the Viper Ultimate. Fox Style is gonna find Jello there. Will he be able to find the Viper? No, he won't be able to on one HP now because of that Viper Ultimate. And will get taken down by Sushi around where Humber College started off great. Just could not take him down. And I think that one might be. The one that puts St. Clair over the edge there. They're going to have the full buys this round as well, but that round is just a heartbreaker if you're a Humber player. Mm -hmm. Incredible, incredible round from Chillin there, using that Viper Pit so well. It was in a perfect position to block off defenders from coming in from Waterfall. It was able to cut off any vision onto site from the defenders. It was an incredible round, especially having gone down two people very, very early on and able to flip that back and give themselves the man advantage, just doing a great job. Canadian gonna push up here with the boom bot to try and give him some intel. 
gonna see, it's gonna see both, or it's gonna see them at least, and let Canadian know that there are people hanging around there. It looks like they're gonna just take it slow here. Maka making a very, very uh, interesting push with the share of trying to peek out here. Chillin' sitting back at A, waiting for also another push here, and gun disadvantage, I'd be, um, be a little bit more passive if I was Humber. Absolutely, but St. Clair, they don't want to be passive. They want to get onto this A site as soon as possible. Canadian still has both of his satchels if he ever wants to fly for a little bit, but mm -hmm. St. Clair going to open this door up, going to make their way over toward that A site, and uh, very, very slowly should be able to take this round. Kildra going up mid, they might actually just rotate over to mid, and they will do so. Let's see how quickly they can get this plant down. And there's someone on the there. Shots will come down from the whole team. A lot of damage done to the Humber members, but St. Clair College very, very well left. played with the weapon advantages here. So many members in that one hallway. Let's see what happens. Foxtile is able to take down Canadian. Nick's able to find Scrubby. Scrubby finds one though as well. And there's the trade coming out from Sushi and Chillin. One and Chillin finding it three in one spray. Yet again, Chillin going crazy on the Viper, giving St. Clair a 9-2 leader. Now Saints are going to look to win this half. round and close out the half on a high note. 100%. The only two ways this round could go are ending in a 9-3 or a 10-2. Either way, St. Clair College has created a huge gap between them and their opponents. And just looking at the scoreboard, you can see that Humber has lost a lot of their morale. Nick's doing everything he can, being the only one going positive on the team right now, 12-10. and 10. Unfortunately, we see others like Maka and Koma who are... Very big players in the first two maps, not quite living up to the name. And there we go, Canadian and Chillin finding off the first two picks. Nick's going to be able to trade there before getting taken down by Sushi himself. And 4v2 now in this final round of the half. Jello able to find one on the Gwester, and that pretty well seals the deal for this round. Unfortunately, the Killjoy will not have any utility to help him out here, Fox style. Not quite sure what to do. There goes Scrubby with his ultimate. Gonna just keep him off for a little bit, and Jello is able to find the headshot and give St. Clair College a 10 to 2 lead. What a reversal from that first map we watched. Not something I expected, especially after Humber took a 2 0 lead in mm -hmm. this last map. I was a bit worried for how St. Clair were gonna bounce back, but they bounced back with 10 straight rounds. I don't think they're mm -hmm. gonna be too upset with how they did that. Gonna be very, very happy to say the least. But now let's see if they can clutch up and win this pistol round and put this game away. I think the last two pistol rounds have gone to Humber College mm -hmm. in this series. So St. Clair College gonna look to turn their fortunes around. And now it is an attack side of map, yep. as we did say, but 10-2 is a great lead. I think St. Clair College got three, three more rounds in them to close this one out. Humber College gonna have need an absolute miracle and everyone to play at 150% to bring this one back. Well, there might not be a 9-3 curse, but I've certainly seen a 10-2 curse, so St. Clair College going to have to be a little bit careful to not get in their heads here, play very, very smart, and this is an attacker-sided map, so they have to make sure that they do not overextend or make any dumb plays here, and there is a perfect example as Canadian finds a great pick onto the top frag, and that, dare I say, has <laughs> sealed this round already. Yeah, I mean, that's the most important pick you could find if you're a member of the Saints. Killing that enemy Raze, who has been the only reason why Humber College even has rounds in this game. There's going to be the shots coming out from Foxtile with the Sheriff. Foxtile has been absolutely deadly. Maybe you should just keep it for the entirety of yep. the match instead of picking up a Vandal. Such great shots. They're getting the one shot to the head. Now it's going to be an advantage for Humber College. And after we said it, it's a bit of a rough start for them. Maybe this is the point they need to bring this one back. The plant is going down to B on B, which means St. Clair have a lot of angles to come and attack this one from Scrubby. With that kill drill turret, still has it up. We'll place it around the corner and Chillin does spot one now, knows exactly where this breach is. We'll find the pick there. Now it's a 3v3 Chillin. It's gonna get taken down by Foxtel. That's his third kill of the round on that kill drill. Oh my goodness, Foxtel just a full 180 onto Jello, getting the fourth kill of the round on this kill joy. And like I said, someone other than Nyx is gonna have to step up for Humber College to bring this one back. And Foxtel heard me well, getting four kills with that Sheriff. All, all their kills this game might be with that Sheriff. Uh, I'm not too sure about that one, but Foxtel just putting on a performance for us that round, giving Humber a very, very much needed round. And 
they should be able to take this one and take uh, only be down for 10. Did I say 10-2 curse a little <laughs> too early? I think I might have spoke a little too early. But St. Clair College staying cool, calm, and collective. They know what they're doing. They know what they have to do here. And as we see an A push come out from Humber College, St. Clair is going to be well set up and defending for it. That Prowler is not going to be able to spot anybody in this Viper Wall set up by Chillin. One of his signature ones is going to be able to hold off these attackers. But as they push in through Tree, Canadian waiting very, very patiently. They might not know he's there yet. Sushi making all the noise and letting him know that, okay, we got one. But Canadian going to wait in that corner. Maka getting ready with the blinds. Going to push up and give them the space to get onto the site here. Nyx, though, kind of stuck at this door. Not quite sure what to do there. Very focused on Sushi. They know he's there, but I think Canadian might be in the clear here behind that tree. Yeah, I don't think they know he's there, but I don't think Humber can really push through here. They're struggling really hard mm -hmm. against the pistols of St. Clair, and they're gonna choose to fully rotate out, but Fox style finding the most important pick they could onto that Viper will give all of Seaside over toward Humber College, and this should be a more than certain round, considering the way that St. Clair uh, they, they, don't have, they don't have weapons. They can't mm -hmm. really defend this one too well. They're tr they'll try and retake, but they're all just spike walking planted. around the map. Now they realize the spike has been planted. Three of them are going to go on the flank, and it's going to be just Scrubby coming in from the defender's side spawn. That Killjoy turret will give away the position of all three flankers. Let's see if Sushi can spot it out early. They are going to be able to take that one down pretty early. Foxtail playing very, very close with this Guardian. Nyx is able to find one, find a second. Probably going to push through and find a third there onto Sushi. There's going to be the shots coming out. Sushi, nice kill there onto Nyx, but Foxtail finds the trade. And it's all up to Scrubby on the flank here, looking for the clutch. Maybe going to get a ninja defuse. That would be something crazy, wouldn't it? Scrubby looking for it with the sheriff. Won't be able to find it. Will go down to the bomb in just a second. And as expected, the fourth round goes over to Humber College. Humber College starting to build a little momentum, taking the first two rounds like they did in the first half. So St. Clair College now able to buy up some guns. Going to start thinking to themselves, OK, we're not at a disadvantage anymore. We have the skill to beat them. Let's put it to good use. No more rounds are going to be given to Humber College. Not if they can help it. And now they've got all the range that they need. And Wester, unfortunately, looks like they're going to take just the Sheriff into this round. All of right Humber College going to save, not really upgrading. Yeah. And this could be a good chance for St. Clair College to build their own momentum. Yeah, the play Humber going for is, they, if, if Humber wins this round, they, they're... The thing that's going through their brain is going to be, guys, we can win every single round mm -hmm. in this half. But if St. Clair College are able to bring this one out with the weapon advantages, Saints are going to be thinking, all right, guys, two more rounds. Let's close this game out. Let's give it 150% for a couple more rounds, and let's take this one down. But let's see how the cookie crumbles. So far, a very slow push from Humber College. We can see that they are going to take their time. Hopefully, St. Clair College doesn't bite any bait and step out a little too early. And it looks like they're doing a good job so Boxes far. Chilling, hanging out around B. We do see uh, Canadian and Jello over on, and uh, Sushi as well over at A. And then Scrubby by himself holding down C, doing a good job here. But as they make their way closer to A, they're going to pop the door into Tree. We're going to once again see Sushi pushing out. He's going to find one. He's oh going to find goodness, two. Great Sushi. picks there by Sushi. He's going to be stunned up by the Breach, though, who's not going to commit to that push. Canadian does find Maka, though. And here we go. Now a 5v2 advantage for St. Clair College. The guns have come into big play here. Guest are going to take that spike and run elsewhere. And it looks like Scrubby has left C, but Chillin able to find Fox Dial, and it's going to leave. Wester and his sheriff in a 1v5 situation. A tough place to be. Chillin' not looking the right way, though. He's gonna get taken out by Gwester. Gonna stop the flawless oh, and he's gonna be able to get the plant down, but Scrubby's right there and he will clean it up, giving St. Clair College the first win of this half and a pass to just roll right through him for the next two rounds. Absolutely, 11-4 lead. As expected, St. Clair College are able to take that round and some nice shots coming down early. They're getting two early mm -hmm. picks there. Very, very crucial to finding that one. Now just two rounds away from winning the match, but they can't get overconfident. Humber have taken a map off the Saints. They've shown that they are there to compete. Second map was very, very close. Mm -hmm. St. Clair just really have turned it up a notch here in this third map. And maybe a couple members of Humber underperforming in this 
in this last match, but St. Clair College just performing in the clutch when it matters most. Great play from them so far. It's going to be a 3-2 split for Humber College. The spike is over on the side of Nyx. It's going to try and destroy everything there, but kind of wasting his pain shells here. He's chilling on this Viper. is just holding down this tree area with the Judge. Going to look to play up close and personal. As next time that door opens, could be some dangerous shots. This Canadian is able to make a lot of room here. It's going to be a big challenge here. He's able to spot out the kills rate. Let's see how this one ends. Jello is there for the help. It's a huge pick there as St. Clair are going to have to rotate over back to A. It's going to be Scrubby on his lonesome. Trying to find at least one pick here would be massive, but Nick does find the headshot. Chillin' though, sitting here with the Viper and the Judge. I don't think they have any idea he's here. He's able to find one. As soon as he turns the corner, will have the rest of the team looking at him, but he's able to stop the plant from coming down. And he's going to be sitting here with the Judge. He's able to destroy that, find some more shots. He's building so much time and he finds Kona there, putting it in a 1v2, and it's a... Great shots from Canadian, putting them on match point now. Great shots from them, and one more round, St. Clair College will be able to take this one home. Huge damage from Chillin there with that judge. Played so patiently and perfectly, able to tick away at a couple of the members and even getting a couple of kills on the board. Just looking at the scoreboards, you can see that everyone on St. Clair is having a great game right now, especially Canadian and Scrubby leading the board with 19 and 17 and chilling right behind him with 16. Unfortunately though, when we do look at Humber, we are still seeing Nix leading the score, leading the board right now with 17. Fox style, definitely picking up, having a better second half here. Unfortunately, Koma still not able to get a kill on the board and I think that is gonna be very, very crucial to the side of Humber here. And as they try to push up C, they're gonna be shut down very quickly by Chillin's Viper Pit which he has shown that he is just an expert in playing. Yeah, chill inside this Viper ult is a danger. Look, he dodges the Ray's ult with such ease, and Nyx is on 1 HP. He's gonna die right there. There's gonna be a second kill coming up from chill He single-handedly picked this up towards the later parts of the game. He's been able to find so many crucial kills. This should be the beginning of the end for Humber College. Chillin is moving up mid, and he should... Oh no, Chillin's in the Viper pit. Sorry, Canadian's moving up mid, and he's gonna be looking for something here towards the end. Maka right there. is going to have to find something crucial as the Rays has died. The top fragger that's been carrying them through it all is fallen. Canadian's going to find one here. Now it's a 2v5. The flash comes out. It's going to be a trade, but Jello will find the final Defenders two win. kills. And just like that, that is the game. Map 3 goes over to St. Clair College as they take it 13-4. to Absolutely incredible playing from St. Clair College. They clearly had the energy in this third map that it seems that Humber may have just been lacking. This was obviously a very, very long match going three games of Valor. It's never a fun time, especially when the first two games take up 20 plus rounds. You could see that St. Clair College had the morale, had the momentum. They had everything going right, especially that first half going up 10 to 10 rounds consecutively, not dropping a single one in between. That's the momentum you got to build up to really take these rounds and only giving up two rounds in total each half. Absolutely incredible. Amazing performance from them there and they will be moving on. But let's go over a quick recap of mm -hmm. what went down today. Uh, earlier today, we had our varsity team play against... Uh, OTSU Purple. OTSU Purple. And they were able to take the first map 13-3 but lost because of a disqualifications because they did decide to buy an outlaw. So then they were not happy with that. They won the next two maps 13-1, 13-1. Were able to take that series there 2-1 and a great performance from them there. And now our academy team playing Humber did lose the first map as well 13-8 but then were able to come back with victories of 13-9 and 13-6. 34 Four. in that last map, really turning it up when mm -hmm. it mattered most. So congratulations to both our team on great performances today. And it was a blast to, to cast them today. 100%. I couldn't agree more. And you really got hit all the points there. Um, great playing from both teams today and great playing from the opponents as well. OTSU Purple and Humber Co College. Incredible playing. It was absolutely enjoyable to watch. And great job to the Saints having taken both games today. Absolutely, and with all that being said, we're going to be wrapping it up. So let's say a quick thank you to mm -hmm. all of our sponsors. We have HyperX, Tim Horton, Subway, SRC, Illumini, and St. Clair... 
St. Clair Scent Alumni Association. So yep. thank you. And the SRC. So yep. thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to everyone in the back. We have Daniil, Amanda, and Matthias back there today. And obviously, thank you, mm -hmm. Jordan, for joining me on the desk. Make sure to follow all of our socials online. And we're going to be back here tomorrow with some more Saints of Valorant action in CVL. So it'll be at three, uh, 4 p.m. like today. So don't, go, don't miss it tomorrow. It's going to be as fun as it was today. And thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow.